Hey everyone and welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Survivor. We left off on Kobo. Well, we crashed on Kobo. We're trying to find Grease. Uh, I could do continue or load journey. Load journey is weird because I couldn't save, but I guess it just does automatic. Am, am I really 14%? Huh. Some people suggested that this game was significantly longer than the first game, but 14% doesn't seem to uh, line up with that. But anyways, let's jump in. Alright, so I left off here. There was a workbench inside. There was a... Uh, uh, something that I haven't gotten before, like a plant or something. Uh, so I'm gonna go back and get that. What the heck is th okay? I was not expecting that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, what? 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 <laughs> um. Okay, you can do this, Cal. I believe in you. I believe in you, Cal. I believe in you. No, okay. All, all right. Okay, come on, Cal. You got this. You got this, yes! You're the best, Cal! Oh, God. Okay, I'm down here again. Oh, God. Okay. I guess we'll just go up this way. Or, or not. Where's that mine at? Hi. Hello. I would like to come up and fight, maybe. Yeah, hey, there we go. Oh god. Ow. All right, here we go. Here we go. Help me. Get right into it. Right into it. Ooh. Oh, more stuff down here. I'm pissing off everything. Take this, and both. Oh, or not. Okay. Oh god! Okay, that's... <laughs> what a start. Oh, dear god. Alright. Attempt number two. Alright, is this thing actually gonna work this time? Set me up. There we go. Thank you. I couldn't use that before. Crap. Okay. What? Nice try. I need one. God. Don't let him escape! What? Cal? Help me, BD. God. Give me he, a stim. he did that before on the last stream. He wouldn't. Oh my god, Cal. Okay, there's something severely wrong with the force push. <laughs> and sometimes it will hold, despite the fact that you just pressed it. And that happened last stream, and it just happened now, and I don't know why. I pressed the button. And it does the hold, and then it's obviously too late because you get a very narrow window to actually send that rocket back. So that's a horrible issue. I don't know why that's happening. Think you can outrun it? Hey, it actually did it. Oh, God! Really? Uh, maybe it's my controller? I don't think so. I don't think so, because it's like, it works most of the time, but every once in a while he just holds the stupid attack. 
That's not what happened there. I just got blasted. All right. Like them apples, huh? Ah! Oh god! Hold on, hold on. Back up. All right. Nice little warm up. Get right back into the swing of things. So I think that collectible thing that we wanted was up here with the big boy. Let me go ahead and do, yeah, take him over. Oh, I can't, he's an animal. Apparently you can't do that to animals. All right, let's go. Let's go! Big boy's coming. Oh God. Oh, he kicked me! Help me, BD! You're too low. Oh, wait, what the heck? Alright. Me and Big Boy. Let's go. Let's go, Big Boy! Me and you. Yeah, you want some of this? You want some of this? Let's bring it. Do it. Do it, I dare you. Try it. Yeah, how you like that, huh? Like that, uh! Ha! Like that! Oh, oh come on! Stims, no! I expect an opening there, and I get it sometimes, but not always. Dead! Alright, I think that thing was around here. Ah, crap. I thought it was here. Hmm. Unless I got it on accident? I remember something popped up, and then I got distracted, as usual, and then I ran off and did other things. But I thought there was something around here. Maybe the map will help me. Map, you got anything? No. What's that? What's that? Little red thing. Uh, I don't know. Oh, wild creature. Huh? Uh. Okay. Like something I can do with that wild creature? I got the seed. Oh, okay. I didn't actually know. <laughs> all right. Well, all of that was just for warm up then. I'm just warming up. Anything right I can't interact with him. Okay. Hi. Watch out. Watch out. No five. I mean you, buddy. Let's go. I'll run you through. One more to go. Uh, what? Hey, I'm 
him. Alright, there was a big nasty over here last time. What is that? Let's find out. What is that thing? Oh, it's one of those ninjas. I don't know what they're actually called, but I call them ninjas. Has he now? Oh, what? Oh, get out of here. That was so far away from me. Wait here, buddy. Get out of here. I can't believe that hit me. All right, looks like I can't actually go this way. Can you slice this, BD? Oh, maybe you can. Door is locked from the other side. Boo. Plants with fireflies around them or seeds you can pick up. Oh, yeah, I do remember that now. What the heck is this? What is this? Oh, oh, it's you. Hey, come here. Oh, he got away. Yeah. How's my day going? It's going great. How you doing? Wait, is that an enemy? No, that's a friendly. There's something over there. Alright, let's go over here. Oh, you're not friends. Oh, no! I got killed by a chicken! No! The embarrassment! Oh, God, I'm never gonna live that one down. That one, that one's gonna stink for a long time. Keep your head down. Firing on the target. Hit block, you can't block that. Some block. What the heck? Got away from me again. I tried to force grab him, it didn't work. Okay, freaking chickens. Thank you're so cool, huh? Yeah, try it again. Try it again, I dare you. Oh, didn't work this time, did it? Stupid chicken. Yeah, yeah, how'd that work out for you? That's a rocker. Watch its movements and be ready to dodge its charge. <laughs> I noticed. Can be dealt with fairly quickly, but our alternatives, or but there are alternatives to fighting. Well, what kind of tip is that? Like, hey, there's extra stuff you could do, probably. The Raka is a Kobo native that embodies the planet well, unassuming but surprisingly dangerous. These avian creatures are fiercely protective and will dramatically peck, butt, and charge any who encroach on their territory, thus earning them the moniker Rushers by the locals. However, they are fairly dim-witted and susceptible to certain forms of persuasion. Oh, maybe mind trick? Republic scientists were fascinated by their seeming immunity to local Kobo matter, hypothesizing that their feathers might be somewhat magnetized. Alright, what do we got? That's it. Give it a try. Not bad, huh? I feel great. There you are, good as new. Almost. Own wars weren't yesterday. Did we win? Nope. Oh no. Battle Droid Blues. Zig Souza is not somebody who can say no to a little mechanical tinkering. As such, she found herself preparing things that she most likely should not, such as old separatist battle droids. Campsite. Something above. Have I been up there? Maybe? That's lost. Don't think I'll survive that. No. Not gonna try that. What about over here?
That doesn't look good. I do want to go over there. Oh, wait, is that the other side? Yeah, that's the other side of that gate. All right. That's for later. Oh, apparently I'm not the only one to die to the uh, the chickens. Satsuna seems to have beef with them. I'm not the only the only noob dying to those things. All right, have I gone over there? I don't think I have. Oh, hi boys. You want some of this? Yeah, you like them apples. Giving chase. Eternal blast. Yeah. Oh, get wrecked. Yeah, I don't think I went up here before. Doesn't seem familiar. Hey, it's a chocobo. Come on, you blasted beast! Move! You come from Dredger Gorge? You're still walking, huh? Folks don't last long around here, especially ones poking around Raider turf. Wasn't exactly the welcome party I was looking for. Sounds like you could use a drink. Monk will whip you up something nice down in Paloons. Thanks for the tip. How did I end up on this blasted planet in the middle of this blasted outer rim nowhere? Southern Reach. All right, can I go in here? Oh, I can. Yeah. Oh. Oh God. Hold on. Ow. Shielded. Over here! Go! Oh, that's red. Dang it, everything's red. Cal, I thought you'd been training for years. You can't seem to do any of this stuff. Alright, I'm going back later. Alright, alright. So we went over there. What's that? Yeah, there's a lot of places I can't go. Seems to be more places I can't go than places I can go. Collectible I missed? Where at? Let that be a lesson to y'all. You come into my outpost, I'll hunt you down and kill you myself. Doma unbowed? As the raiders began their ascendance, Doma found it necessary to personally make it clear that the outpost was defended and not to be messed with. Back in the shooting room? Mm okay. <laughs> I like how you called it the shooting room. That is totally a name I would give it. We either think very similarly, or, or you potentially watch me a little too much, Panda. Oh wait, I can shimmy through here. Oh, no I can't. Lies! You have a question for me? I potentially have an answer for you. What's up, Nihil? Alright, look right. Man, are you talking about- Oh! Oh, I see it now. More prior right. Go! You can take down the shooter by using the force pull? Oh? No, you can't! Ah! I've been. I've been. Lied to! Nope, I can't. It was red. So it looks like something I can eventually do. I 
been trolled. Whether purposely or unintentionally, I'm not sure, but I've been trolled. God, oh, all those stupid things. I totally forgot about them. They get a stim BD. Evil. Oh, it's the chickens. Oh, is that a special chicken? This is a different color. <laughs> oh, God, what? Oh, my God. Two deaths by the freaking chickens. Wasn't my health pretty high? Or did I forget to heal? What is that? There you are. Oh, hello. That's not what I intended. Work. Yeah, how you like that? I see you better. <laughs> You're not the only one getting dominated by chickens. Did that legitimately one-shot me? Because it looked like it. Oh, wait. It's you. You ain't getting away this time. Oh. Oh. Get him! Yeah! Check it out, BD. Prior right. They do one-shot. Oh, fun. All right, where's that bug? Oh, God, God. Yeah. All right. I'm ready for you, bird. Let's go. Doesn't seem to matter if you dodge early. They go in a straight line, more or less. So probably best to dodge a little bit early and just make sure you get freaking mowed down. They all start charging me at the same time, though. That'd be a problem. They always lead with it, too. game on PS4? I don't know. Oh, there you go. There's your answer. No. Alright, looks like I can't go up there at all, so I might have to go around. Oh, yeah. It was blocked off. And then I came from over there, did I? I can't remember what I explored over there. Seems to be a lot of places I can't go, and very few I can. The chicken has become your nemesis. Things were good until the chickens arrived. Everything was peaceful until the chicken nation appeared. Uh, by the way, I, I got distracted. I saw your question, you whole. I, I tend to try to not talk about other games when I'm Playing a, like I, I like to talk about the game I'm currently playing. But to quickly answer your question, I, I hate both of those games. <laughs> okay, I do remember coming here. I met, what's her face? Oh, actually, she's just right there, right? Right now, she seems to have moved on. What was her name again? What was Buff Lady's name? Well, she's muscle lady now. Mosey? That actually sounds familiar. Maybe. About six hours in, how does it compare to the first? So far, I am enjoying it quite a bit. 
I was a little wor worried about the open worlds, but they actually seem fairly contained. So we'll see. Not that having a big, vast open world is bad, but I just worry it when they games tend to make their open worlds too big. They kind of like lose focus and like exploration just becomes less impactful. So this actually seems a little more contained, which gives me some hope. Need to center myself. Rambler's Reach. I do have three skill points. Let's see what we could get. Lightsaber. Oh, not double bladed. I hate the double bladed. Prude footwork, cyclone slash, aerial assault. Still not convinced aerial assault's any good. Uh, hold cir oh, that one's so weird. Hold circle to automatically evade incoming melee attacks. Improve survival skills. Increase health again. Perfect stem for formula. Teamwork. Reduces time required to heal. Oh! Oh, give me that. Give me that. That heal is taking forever. Perfect. That's like instant. Let's see. Confusion. Oh, create a confusion. Hold R1, then circle after confusing... Oh, you can confuse two enemies? Oh, do that. Give me that. Man, I'm gonna have a whole legion on my side. Think it's worth a buy? I definitely wouldn't uh, give a recommendation like that this early. Let's move, BD. I can just say I can just say that my initial experience has been good thus far. But these things take time to like really form an opinion. Alright, so there's a workbench there. Hey, got a proposition for you. Do you now? You interested in the opportunity of a lifetime? Maybe. Let's hear it. Some folks ventured into the mine just down yonder. No one's heard from them since. That's right, little droid. Could be the makings of a tragedy. Most things on Kobo are. Prospectors were looking for Priorite. Mine is chock full of the stuff. But saving those folks? That's the important thing, of course. I'll look into it. Now we're in business. Mine is just down yonder. You can't miss it. What is this? Find the missing prospectors. A rumor. You tracked down those missing prospectors yet? Still working on it. Come on, we need answers. Okay. Why is that meditation spot so vibrant? See that? Like that one's, like this one's super light, but that one's like powered up. What's up with that? Riverbed watch. Wait, is this where it was? Oh, this is where, oh, this is where the chickens were. Were. <laughs> uh, what's that? Uh, oh, is that the mine she was talking about? Oh, it looks like it is. Okay. Alright, this appears to be it. Oh. Uh, can I zip line it? Aha. Oh, PD. Count yourself lucky you can't smell. Sodden. Grotto. Oh, what am I hearing? It's not one of those dudes hiding, is it? Yes, it is! You freaking bug! Take that. Tidy your crap. Nice. Prior right shard, booyah. Uh, 
that's dark. I really like this uh, hold out your lightsaber for a light source thing. I don't remember this from the first game. Pretty, oh, yeah, I saw you. I saw you. I could go that way. Yeah. What was that? Oh god! Ah, it's one of those. Okay. Right, if you toss, yeah, you just gotta toss them into the wall. And you can chop them up. That works. I hear a bug, it might be hiding. Yep. Hello. A stupid bug. Yeah, they're really bad at giving <laughs> away their location. It's amazing they've survived this long. Hoping I could. Dang it, he had a shard. We're gonna have to come back for him. These creatures were killed by blaster fire. Dead gorgers. A string of gorgers, all of which were felled in an orderly manner, suggesting the intervention of prospectors and not some hungry beast. Hey, Shinies. I was really irritated when you called the double light blade, bladed lightsaber stupid when you only gave it like five seconds of use. Yeah, I don't like it. I didn't like it in the first game, and right away I didn't like it in this game. So, uh... Sorry. <laughs> Not every option is going to be for everyone. I will be trying it more in the future, and I do use it for um, for reflecting bolts, but I just don't like it, and it seems identical to the first game. I just never found it to be effective. It like Every time I tried to use it in the first game, it got me into trouble, and it got me hit, and then I immediately used it in this game, and it got me killed, <laughs> which was... Pretty uh, consistent with the first game. I think it was meant for lesser difficulties where you could just wail around and not have to worry. Ah, oh, God. Targeting on that is a little jank. Okay, what? Why? I, what? I, I don't understand, Cal. Why are you uh, no, struggling still. to use... Oh, because I'm out of force. Crap. Okay, never mind. It all makes sense now. I guess I'll just avoid him. And open this really quick. Or I can't. Oh, I'm in combat, so I can't. Well, now what? Maybe I can throw? Nope, can't throw. Ah! Well, slash? Okay, good. So as long as I hit him at max distance, I don't have to, like, toss him or anything. Good to know. Hey, got some legs for BD. Oh, 
All right. Uh, okay. Oh, right. This is where that freaking thing was that escaped. BD. Shortcut. Where was that again? Uh, wait, is that like the very beginning? And what is that? Oh, this looks like something I can do. Hold on. Let me backtrack here. Oh, yeah, this is the very beginning. But can I do anything with this? Ah, no. Alrighty. This is what kind of creature lives down here. This is not good. Nice job. Massive rib cage. The exposed rib cage of an enormous creature. Markings on the bone structures indicate this was picked clean by some ravenous predator. Me thinks I'm gonna have to fight said ravenous predator. Especially with a save here. Look at this rib cage. Think the Bedlam Raiders would pay for fossils? Oh no. Gotta be one of the missing prospectors, buddy. Prospector remains. A prospector was hunting for treasure down in the caves, but ran into something large, unexpected, and deadly. And now he's another rib cage. And maybe I am too. Let's find out. Don't worry, Cal, we got this. Oh, God. Oh, I wanted to do a throw that didn't work. Oh, God. Oh, no. That was the weakest dodge ever. Is because I'm in the water? Hold on, I gotta watch that one. Hmm, that one was a little suspicious. I was dodging and it like barely moved. I don't know if the water was affecting my dodge length, but that was terrible. Alright, let's try to stay out. Oh god! <laughs> that didn't work out. <laughs> Uh, that was a one shot. Okay, I'm I'm ready. All right, stay out of the. Oh God, that swipe is so nasty. All right, I I gotta stay out of the water. I think the water is affecting my my dodge distance, and I could not get out of the stomp. When uh, when I was in there, so I'm gonna stay at the edge. No water for me. How'd you miss, Cal? It was right there. What are you doing? Oh crap! In the water. Get out of the water. Get out of the water. Get out of there, Cal. Jeez. Oh crap! Oh! Oh what? What did he even hit me with? 
I didn't recover my uh, thing. I, I don't know why. I was like right on top of it. What, what did he hit me with here? Oh, dude, really? Did his elbow like graze me? <laughs> How was that an attack? He was attacking with the left hand and killed me with the right hand. How's that work? Oh, I cannot see a thing. Uh, oh! Alright. Maybe I should fight him in the water. There's more space, but man, I can barely move. Let's try the water again. See how that goes. Oh! Absolutely wrecked. Alright, I I think I want to stay close to him because that claw is the worst thing he's got. I, it feels like I can survive everything else but that claw swipe. Oh god, yeah, that is a lame attack. That's like instantaneous. I don't like that. That's so lame. Over here. All the rest of his attacks have like a tell. That one's Hit you. And this? Oh god! Oh god! Get out of that cow! Get out of that cow! Oh. I don't like him. I don't think he likes me, and I don't like him. I am Jedi, unstoppable. Unstoppable Jedi! That's, that's all you got? That's it? I thought you were like difficult or something. That's it, Rancor? Come on. Come on, what you got? What you got? Oh! Oh! How, how you like to dodge? Oh! I like that! Yeah. yeah. That's it? Didn't anybody tell you I'm a freaking Jedi? I don't, I don't get stomped by clueless beasts. Like, oh crap! Maybe I do. Yeah, back to what I was saying. Is that all you got? Is that it? Oh, spun for nothing. That didn't work. That didn't work. What are you gonna do now? Huh? What are you gonna do now? I know all your moves. Yeah. Yeah, we got. We got. Oh, that's it? That's it? I thought you had more than that. Oh! <laughs> I got overly ambitious. Alright, first attempt. Oh, he one shot me. <laughs> oh, that was so rude. That was so rude. Just stop, like, just bonked me right in the head. God, Cal, you moved like a grandma. What are you doing? Oh. I feel like there was a better dodge in the first game. Am I wrong? I feel like there was a dodge roll if you double tap the circles. Have I just not unlocked that yet? Because the sidestep dodge feels really good. The like big do oh, well I'm dead. Well, at least we get to see a new death. Oh wait, oh 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 oh. Sad times. But yeah, like, I feel like there was a dodge roll. That, like, exaggerated, like, lunge feels really bad so far. I am remembering correct. Can I unlock that? Because, man, I need that. This, this dodge he's doing is really bad. Ah, oh, God. Yeah, that. I hate that. It feels so awful. Oh, God, that is so quick. You don't know? Well, if I can get that dodge roll, we freaking need it, because 
I can't I can't be doing that big dodge. That's awful. Oh jeez. Man, they are ruthless for that timing. Try throwing your lightsaber at it. Yeah, so I can scratch it and piss it off. Besides, I don't think I have any force, do I? Or maybe I do. Oh my! Okay. So I tried to sidestep both of those, but he doesn't seem to be able to chain them together quick enough. Maybe I did the exaggerated dodge. But that's a problem. I'll have to dodge out if that's the case. Because so I was like, oh, I'll just dodge through them. That did not work. God! <laughs> Instant! Ah, I hate that swipe! Alright, mid range is bad. I can deal with the stomps. That swipe I can't deal with. So I gotta be right on his butt or at distance. I, I can't be in the mid range. Mid range is dead. Mid range is dead. So I'm gonna be like right up here. Yeah, we can deal with all that. Okay, that one shouldn't have killed me. Come on. Come on, that shockwave distance is crazy. Hold on, let me see this. Hit me with that one. Yeah, look how far away I was. Oh my god. That second stomp, how did that hit me? Oh god, not that, not that. Anything but that. Literally anything else. I still think being right on him is the, the win, but if he does the double stomp, I seem to get caught. But that might be the water playing factor again. God, stop! What? Look at that range! Oh my god, I'm a mile away! Well, I'm only look at that again. Dude, seriously, how did that kill me? Oh my god. That stomp rage is out of this world. Hey, hit me from another. Oh, well, I just screwed that up. I don't know what to do with those stomps. Like, he literally can't move that far. <laughs> my dude has made a class. It feels like it. I made a. I, I'm. I'm here with my paper mache clothing armor. Oh my god, I almost screwed that up again. I got lucky on that one. That was, that was some luck. I'll take the luck. Alright, I don't want to be mid-range. This is a bad place to be. Do, do the swipe if you're going to do it. There it is. Okay, yeah, get out. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh god. Oh no! Okay, at least I found the range where he does the swipe. And I can stay out of there, so that helps. Jump over the stomps? Uh, I could try. Oh, God. I could try, but I think they're too quick. Besides, I'm usually like. I, so I dodge out of the first one, and then the second one usually gets me. And I've. I might already be stuck in that animation. God, yeah, see? He, he gets... When he does those double attacks, even if I do the quick little, like, hop out of the way dodge, I'm still getting hit by the follow-up, even though I'm, like, spamming circle, so... That's not working at all. Oh my god! Wait, I can actually parry him? 
I didn't even try to parry because that just seems like a death sentence. I can try. I think this is going to go terrible. Well, let me try. I mean, best case is the parry, but I think even if I was to block that attack, it's going to... Uh, I think it's going to uh, break my guard. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know if the parry would have worked, but it, I was a little slow there. Every hit we can get here. We, we can't be screwing around. Oh! Thought I had one in there. Oh god! Barely got that in time. That was almost bad. Oh, I Oh, jeez. Whoa. I, okay. Oh, God. All right. AI managed to get the jump in. Oh, and then I guess. God stomped. Take that little hit to your knuckle. How you like that? Ah! My God, that was 99% of my health. Oh, what? Oh. I guess if you dodge backwards, he still gets you. Don't dodge back. Got it. Or at least don't do the little hop back. Maybe a bigger one back would have been fine, but it's better just to not do that. God! <laughs> the heck? Oh, my God. Maybe I'm... All right, let me get back to trying to parry. Maybe I'm relying too much on the dodge, because the dodge has been so effective against the other enemies that I kind of like stop doing blocks and parries as much. Yep. Oh. See, it's in my head now to dodge. I gotta like force myself to block. dare you, sir. It's all my freaking health. BD's. BD's only got so many stems. God. <laughs> that didn't even hit me. You liar. He got me with the shockwave, though. wide open for a hit there, but I just can't hit him from that angle. Oh, that range. Alright, I'm starting to get him. 
I'm starting to get him. Me and you. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Look who's over on the other side of the room now. Huh? Want some of this? Want some of this? Come on, bring it. Oh, that's all you got? Just that. Oh, that's it. Oh, get dodged again. Why do you miss so much, Cal? He's right there. He's like a two stories tall. Oh, dang it. Fail. That is so annoying. I don't understand. Like, how are you? Like, this was one of the issues I had in the first game. Like, just random stuff like that that makes no sense. Like, dude. I'm swinging at this giant creature. How am I missing? At point blank. Like, if I was out of range, sure, but it won't let me get any closer. So not all the jank has been addressed. That's for sure. Not all the jank has been addressed. Right there. What kind of Jedi misses that attack? Oh god! What? Oh, I got grabbed? Oh, what the heck? If I just mind control him and have him smash his own brains out. How about that? That seems like a good strategy. Oh my god, I hate that. That is such garbage. Shockwave attack. Ugh. Not bad, but the stomp. Right, you know what? Cool. Get a sim! Oh, I tried to sidestep that out. <laughs> Needs a little bit more distance. Oops. All right, here we go. Dump playing around with you, Rancor. Time to die. Time to die. Oh, okay. Time to die for me. That's what I meant. Time to die for me. Just as I planned. Just as I planned, little did he know, I drank a poison potion before that fight, and now he's dead. Sometimes you have to sacrifice for the greater good. What? Okay, that shouldn't have hit me. Come on now. Come on now. That should not have hit me. That's good. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work. Ah, 
God, I hate it. Eight lightsaber. Oh yeah. Point zero one percent of your health is gone. You like that, huh? You'll never recover. Attempt number two. Oh, I hate that move. I need help. No. That's so hacks. That, did ya? Oh, man. <laughs> bring a chicken, he won't stand a chance. Oh my god, mind control a chicken and have him come with me? Chicken one shots him. Why didn't we think of this before? That's a solid strategy. That's a foolproof plan. Genius. You were gonna grab me, huh? Not gonna happen. Get that. Yeah, get those swipes. You love them, buddy. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, rude. I need help, buddy. I think I dodged a little too far back. I kind of did like a backwards to the left, and I think I just needed to go a little more left, and I would have been fine. Dang it! <laughs> what? All right, I gotta stop playing with that attack because that seems a little jank. I'm just gonna get away from that thing. That attack seems a little jank. Oh. What happened there? Did I dodge the wrong way or did I get moved by those ground things? 
I can't tell. I don't know if I... If I screwed up or... Well... I don't know if I just dodged the wrong way or if I... Uh, oh my god. I don't know if I dodged the wrong way or if I just like bounced off of those things on my back. This Rancor is main. I don't like him. All right, I'm gonna try to parry that swipe again. Oh crap, no, that's not that one. I was ready for a swipe, that's not what I got. Oh, swipe, I'm in mid range, do it. Oh, okay. Uh, that works. Oh my god. Alright, let me just go back to what I know. Just go back to what was working. No need to fix what isn't broken. Suffering. Alright, don't screw around with that because that one's jank. What? I don't understand that guy. He kind of looks like a. Kind of looks like a roided up, like, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle on his head. <laughs> Maybe I get to fight Master Splinter after this. Oh god, what even happened there? Hey BD! It didn't seem like you had the angle. Buddy, help. Oh, get jumped. Nope. Not happening. Ow! Oh, see, that was what I was worried about. Dude, did he just kill me in poop? That, that, I looked like I was near uh, some poop there at the end. It didn't look like mud to me. Piley made after eating so many times. I, I can't imagine this den smells good. Alright. Third attempt. Here we go. Here we go. Third time's a charm. I will eventually hit him. There we go. Success. I, I, I hit him. Mission accomplished. Let's go home, boys.
Oh my god, I thought I got grabbed. I can't believe that worked. Nope. Oh, well, it's both too soon. Oh well, I, I honestly should have gotten grabbed before that. <laughs> I don't know how that worked. That should not have worked. What? Okay, that one shouldn't have grabbed me though. What the heck is that crap? Well, now I'm confused. How did that get me? That was rude. I don't understand that one at all. Oh, wow. That was close. Seriously, though, this dodge is so jank. I do not like it. Please give me a dodge roll. I did the small dodge. His range for that swipe is too long. That's going to get me hit every time. had a little, or that slam had a little more distance than her. <laughs> nope. Nope. Oh, you pissed off. Help. Dude, hit him. Oh my god, Cal. He's right there! He's, a, like, 12 times bigger than you! Hit him! There you go! Jeez! Ah, Stomp got me. Ah, I do remember this from the first game. It drove me absolutely nuts. You do that, like, jump in, uh, lightsaber slash, and it'll just freaking miss when you're right next to him. It drives me absolutely up a wall. Whoa! Yeah, right there. That! That! Oh my god, I hate that. Come on, Cal. You're better than this. No, you don't. Dude, okay. That is garbage. <laughs> I I don't even understand that one. Like, I freaking dodged so far to the side, and he still grabbed me. What? <laughs> what was that? Oh, my God. The other ones were questionable, but that one, 100%, he did not get me. Like, that was such garbage. Oh my 
my god, what was that? Instantaneous. I didn't even get a chance to jump. And it probably shouldn't have hit me from that distance anyway. But even if it did, I didn't even get a chance to jump. Probably wait just a little hair longer to see if he's gonna stomp or swipe. Can usually tell. It's, it's specific, it was the same thing in the first game. It's specifically the sprint in attack. So if I can not use that, I'd have more, like as silly as it is, if I not use that, I would have more success hitting him with a quick strike like that. Yeah, like right there. Like if I had done the, the leaping sprint, it would have missed. It's the same thing from the first game. That's very upsetting. That, like that attack was so broken in the first game. It's so broken here. Ah. All right, I gotta freaking not sprint in, which is so counterintuitive because that's what I want to do, but it doesn't work. time I could have jumped yeah I just need to wait like a quarter of a second longer to decide if I'm gonna dodge out or jump out all right don't no don't oh it actually worked. Ah, okay. ah. Oh my god, it hit me while I jumped! Oh, he punched me! You evil ninja turtle, how could you do this to me? Digital Foundry did a view and said all the issues of the first game are worse here. Uh, I honestly can't remember. Oh, I honestly can't remember 
most of the issues. I just remember I had issues with the combat. Um, so far, this is the only one that's like particularly like bad. Is that sprinting slash? Uh, but yeah, I haven't noticed anything else. But I don't remember what was problematic for me before. Oh no, I did the sprint! Oh, it actually worked. As long as it works, I'm okay. Oh my god, no way! Oh my god, why? That stupid attack! You have to be at a distance or it freaking clips you somehow. Yeah, see, I didn't do the, uh, I didn't do the, uh, sprinting attack, and freaking hit it no problem. That's the way you gotta do it. That's so much lost damage if you, uh, have that attack miss, and it leaves you for the so, oh, so slow on that dodge. Oh, that's so hard to not do. Because, like, I see an opening, and just in, in, intuitively I want to sprint to get to him quickly. And I just have to instead just take a few steps forward, not press in that button and, and swipe and it'll land. Right here. Yep, see? I didn't get quite close to it, but that's the idea. Ah, straight here, buddy. Ah. Alright, I think I can Oh, God. See, now I'm waiting for that stomp and I get myself hit. A little slow. That was some grandpa reaction there. That was terrible. I should have been able to avoid that. There we go. That's how we get the reliable hits. Oh, no. Ah. Hey, buddy. Don't you dare. Got a nice distance from him. Just run in. Oh, I missed anyway. Oh, wait, my left. <laughs> I need something, buddy. Sure oh, didn't left the long. Oh, right next to the bone. Yeah, there we go. Ah, oh, what? How did that hit me? Oh, oh, that's nonsense. What? Come on, Cal. Cal Kestis, supposed Jedi. You can dodge that.
Oh! Oh, I went a little early. Caught, caught a fingernail. Caught a fingernail on the way in. No one's gonna leave a mark. Oh my god, I jumped. Give me a break. Here, buddy. Give me a break. Oh, he freaking, ah! His combo's getting longer. Dang it. Okay, he gets longer combos at the end. I gotta be careful, because I was like, oh, here's my opening. Not so much. Not so much. Dude, I, I cannot stand that stomp. Right here, Garbage. I feel like you just don't have enough time. We if you're in an animation, help. you're just gonna get hit. Oh, I lived. about this right on his doorstep first try baby you guys said this was hard I beat him on my first attempt rancor extremely powerful but slow slow <laughs> who would who would call him slow 
Be patient and look for opportunities. Oh yeah, those split second opportunities. Blocking and parrying are less effective. Rancors are best outmaneuvered. See, you guys were trying to get me to block and parry. That doesn't work. Rancors inhabit the dark places of the galaxy, often at the whim of the dark-hearted, towering, bloodthirsty beasts. Rancors are generally best avoided. But if there is no other choice but to fight, warriors must beware crushing limbs, ravenous mouth, and near impenetrable hides. <laughs> so slow, yo. <laughs> yeah, he, he was freaking so slow. Get a lifetime between attacks. Shatter. New perk. Wait, what's a perk? Perk acquired. You've discovered a perk. Different types of perks can be found throughout the game and can change the way you play significantly. Perk slots. You slot... Or you start with three available perk slots. More slots can be unlocked as you progress. Especially powerful perks may require multiple slots. Perks can be viewed at any time in the perks section of the abilities menu. Currently equipped perks can be managed at meditation points. Interesting. So what did we get? I guess that's under abilities? Yes. Perks. Shatter. Block meter damage. Attacks are more effective at breaking enemy guard. Oh, I like that. Cost is two? Okay. How do I use it? Slots in use zero of three. I don't seem to be able to use it. Maybe... Oh, they have to be equipped to the meditation spot. Never mind. Cool. Well, that's apparently uh, a special one because it takes two. Ha ha, sucker, how you like that, huh? 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 You can't mess with me again, huh? That's right. Freaking mutant. Why did I stop making walkthrough style videos? No time. No time, too much effort. Not worth the the time I spent on it M many reasons but mostly because of time equip perks okay I want this how's the game uh good I'm a little disappointed to see some of the well one of the combat issues oh, I'm not a little disappointed I'm majorly disappointed to see one of the uh, the combat issues uh, from the first game, still here. Uh, but other than that, I'm having fun. I think the the hitbox... Uh, hopefully it's not like the first game, because now I'm remembering like the large enemies, it was just really hard to hit them. I can't remember what they were called, but there was like big brutes from the first game that did a lot of like long arm swipes. Uh, whatever those things were freaking called like it had the same issues that I just encountered where it's like I'm right next to them But can't hit them. So that's majorly disappointing to see but other than that I'm having fun Let's see can I just climb out of here. Oh wait Can I get I want to get that priorite priorite shard or whatever they're called The sentinels and The tombs. I don't think they were called sentinels that was like a big, like, beast. I don't remember what they were called. Oh, this isn't the case of hard. This is bugs. I like that. It's hard. I like that that dude was crushing me. Oh, it's these things. All right, so it's the right distance. Yeah, okay. It's not too bad. I just gotta make sure they don't get close. I'm like swiping. Oh, a little slow back. Oh, well, that's fail. Oh my God. Oh, okay. I'll just do that. Oh, that was fail. Where's my little robot adversary? Oh, okay, I don't want to be down here.
Okay. So how am I gonna sneak up on him? Oh god! No! Cal, you suck! What are you doing? Oh my god. Really, Cal? Really? You couldn't hit the dude right in front of you? Ugh, how embarrassing for you, Cal. <laughs> and so ends the tale of Cal. Not particularly heroic or awesome, apparently. He, he had a lightsaber, but he must have stolen it from a real Jedi. Game Cloud Kids playing the player. Well, maybe if they had better controls, we could do that. Unfortunately, in that case, not, not what happened. See me? Oh. Okay, never mind. He's just taunting me. I think the only way this is gonna work if I do the stupid lock on because apparently he can't just hit something right in front of him. Alright. Lock on. Lock on. Okay, there we go. Hey, was that so hard, Cal? Oh, scam. Find something, buddy. Weird. I don't know why that's a scan suddenly. Scavenger droid. Skittish. Runs at the slightest threat. Resists anything but physical attacks by digging to escape. These anxious, greedy droids are a familiar sight wherever there is abandoned material up for grabs. Thought to have been originally created to bring valuable scrap to their owners, these droids now roam independently, hoarding whatever valuables they can find with their grubby mechanical hands. So it sounds like uh, as long as I don't Look use the force on them, they won't actually dig away. Which I was actually kind of suspecting, because that all the other ones, like as soon as I tried to use the force on them, they just freaking escape. So, definitely just follow them and don't use the force. Luke, don't use the force. I mean, how weak is the force if it can't even work on a little scavenger droid? <laughs> I expect better of the force. Missed secret? Oh. Let's see. Maybe the map will help? Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm assuming you're talking about this. Or, wait. Maybe. Oh, is it that one room that made no sense? Maybe there was a passage in there. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's where, okay. Yeah, that's where that room is. I didn't see anything in there. Yeah, weird. What did I miss in here? Oh, pff. wow. Talk about blind. Thank you for the for the tip. Oh, let me just catch my breath. Gotta be a way out. Uh, somewhere. Been here a while. Maybe they're one of the missing prospectors. Dead researcher. A researcher was trapped down in the caves after the collapse of a tunnel. She wandered for days before succumbing to thirst and fatigue. 
Okay, now we should be able to get out, but it's probably faster to just go out this way now. Is there a buggy? I think there's a buggy somewhere. Oh wait, no, I already killed that bug. This is faster. All right. So we took out the Rancor, but we didn't find her missing prospector friends. I can't remember exactly what she wanted me to do, but I don't feel like we had much success. I guess the Rancor being dead will keep other people from dying, but if they go in there, they risked their lives. They knew what they were they were getting up to. You're back. So what did you find? Took down the rancor that was stalking the mines, but I didn't find any prospectors. So let me get this straight. No rancor, no survivors, no competition? That priorite's mine for the taking. You didn't care about the prospectors, did you? You just wanted the prior right. I'm gonna level with ya. Yes, and now that mine's all mine. Better be careful. Who knows if there's another Rancor down there. You're just yanking my chain, right? Right? <laughs> so is that rumor just done? That was very anticlimactic. Uh, seems like it is, though. Huh. All right. Not exactly the way I was expecting that to go. All right, what else we got around here? We got the mine, we got something over here. Killer. She's a terrible person, but death penalty? That might be a bit much. It's not like she killed those prospectors. Trap. This feels like a trap. I'm ready for the trap. Oh, this could get ugly. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. There's so many! I don't have my- Oh, I don't- Oh my god! Oh, this is bad. Oh, no. <laughs> I was expecting a trap, but that was more than I expected. You know, I hate to say it, but the dual-bladed lightsaber might be good there. Oh, I'm back here. Uh, the dual-bladed lightsaber might be good there. That might be the kind of crowd control I actually need because they don't have they don't have range. Oh god! <laughs> Almost forgot. Uh okay. Grab the lunch hey, no, no, okay, there we go. Let's see if the dual-bladed lightsaber will actually be useful here. Sorry, Shannis, can you repeat that? Cut out. What did you say might have been good? Well, we're gonna see. We're gonna see if the dual-bladed lightsaber can actually be useful for once. Especially that move. What's the triangle move for this one? Oh, right, it's garbage. Wait, what? 
Oh, I just took that out. I was like, did I just kill an enemy? Wait. Okay, I do like that. That's pretty freaking cool. I didn't know that that was a move. Oh my god, it's actually good! Sort of. It still leaves me exposed, which I never liked, but it's it's pretty good for this. And this is amazing right here, this move. I don't think that was in the first game. Oh god, oh god! Yeah, okay, yeah, it's still clunky, which is why I never liked it, but for this situation, I think it's the best I got. Especially that. Well, I don't suspect that those types of situations will come up often, but it is good for that. I found a use for it. Huh? It's just too clunky, though. If it wasn't so clunky, it'd be amazing. Wise hunters, gorge your scour and packs, a strategy that has served them well when the often desperate and hapless prospectors came to Kobo. A single hunter poses no problem to a prospector with a blaster, but when lured into a nest full of the beasts, the situation rapidly deteriorates. I found that out. Ooh, Thanks, PJ. Jacket. I might actually want that. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. Why does it look so goofy on him? It's like they got the wrong size for him. Now he just... I don't know. Like, are they like, aren't they supposed to go to your hip? Get mid-drift cal? I don't know. It doesn't look right to me. It's fashion. I guess. Not my fashion. the Laura Croft jacket. There you go. I think Laura wore it better. But, but bomber jackets normally go to the waist, right? Like, that one didn't, like... It's like he got his little brother's bomber jacket. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. I'll watch. Boys have a good fight now. Oh, hey, hey, hey! Get away from it! Did he just commit suicide? Like, what happened there? Oh! Rude. Very rude. Oh god! Oh! I dodged it! Nope, nope. Nope. <laughs> oh man, I mistimed that one. <laughs> oh, that that sucked. Double blade might be good against the tumbleweeds? I doubt it. It doesn't have the reach. I don't see why it would be.
Alright, that went better. Much better. There, there you go, buddy. You did it. What is that? BD1 materials, light metal. I get it. They're weird things. I'd like to know what's in them, too. But we don't have that kind of time or resource. So, no. And please stop asking. Is that lady drunk? Slurring a little bit. A task too far. Prospectors on Kobo were interested in the fastest and easiest ways of getting paid. Requests to investigate mysteriously and seemingly impossible to enter monoliths, therefore, were met with swift denials. Okay. Are we able to go over there? Yeah, it looks like we could. Maybe. Yeah, I should be able to get up right there. Oh, the throw around you? Yeah, maybe. It uses force, though. I don't know how much force. Pass me a stem, bud. Oh, I just... Just wasted the stem. God. That was terrible. Oh, this looks like something's gonna go down. I'm predicting one of those big group guys. Yep. Oh, there he is. Hi. I knew you'd be here. Oh, God. God, there's like zero openings. that rock. I, I wish to use the rock. Kaboom! That's much. Yeah, see, I would have normally attacked there, but I didn't know if it would give me an opening or not. It tends to not like to do that. I, I am king here. Do what you gotta do, buddy. Apparently you can throw rocks back at them. A little hunter jacket. Is that cool? That one's better than what I've gotten, but I still, I still like the default. I missed something? What'd I miss? Map. Maybe that. Wild creature. I wonder if I can collect these creatures at some point. Oh, over here. Good, good eye. Not a bad sound. Sampling this for sure. But it's missing something. There we go. Oh, you weren't talking about that? No. Free sample, Ash Javi and their faithful DJ droid, DDEC, are some of Kobo's most eccentric newcomers. It is not unheard of for them to be found in often unsafe locations around the valley, sampling whatever sounds catch their curiosity. All right, so apparently Seagull saw something else in the cave. Oh, there we go. Goroko Sanctuary. Goroko construct nests in the most advantageous areas, protected from the harsh elements and with as wide and visible an approach as possible. 
Typically, only the female Goroko remains in the nest to rest and protect any young, while the male spends time hunting for food. Did I fight the Rancor? The Rancor is dead. And we killed him on the first try. There you go, Kyle. Kilo. Is that melted metal? Like, what is? What am I looking at here? It's just goop. If we had those mines, we could get through. Maybe there's some mines up here. Wait, what's? It's over here. It might be that tar. There's a scan on the wall. Let me see. Sure. See any? <clears throat> yeah, I'm not seeing that scan. There's a scan at the bench. Bench. Guess I'm not in here. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh. Aha, that bench. What's Thank this? You. A new beginning. A data pad entry detailing a prospector's fresh arrival on Kobo. Planet side at last. I was eager to land, but tried to stay patient. He couldn't sit still at all, though I suppose it is understandable. We have come from nothing, less than nothing, and this Kobo is certainly a gamble. The planet is unusual, but the potential is exciting. We are ready to see what there is to offer. Big fan Chinese, don't usually watch live, but you are criminally undersubscribed. <laughs> Why, thank you, Kilo. I appreciate that. What those things do. Maybe they're like. Nah, I'm not even gonna guess. I have no idea what those do. What is this? Huh. This one's red. We're not powerful enough. We're not cool enough. We made it. It'll be good to see Grease again. Been a long time. Maybe he knows where the others ended up. See her stuck in the past. Marin wandering. Ancient history. What did I find? Why'd you ask me here? 
I don't like you, and you don't like me. That's right. But you annoy me a lot less than the others in this go-nowhere town. And I think you feel the same. What are you saying? Out with it already. I'm saying this is a date. And we're on it. And if you don't like it, too bad. The first move. Oh, I think I just saw something. Gulu and Guido meet for what will be the start of a highly unconventional but extremely long-lasting relationship. So it looks like... Looks like I could potentially, like, grapple all the way across up to there. But before I do attempt that... What's this over here? Alright, that's nothing. Oh, wait, that's red. Another thing I can't do. Alright, I don't know if I can actually grapple to these, though. Let me see. No, this must be something I don't have. But yeah, that... You could totally take that up to there. Interesting. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see. When I saw somebody mention something about the wall. You can climb in the part of the weird steel door? Wait, what? Okay. So I can climb up that thing? I assume you're talking about this one over here. That doesn't... I don't know, maybe you're talking about something else. I don't think I could climb this, and if I could, why? No, okay. Whatever. That's that's clearly I need an explosive. Anyways. Oh, a wall run? There was a wall run. <laughs> Are you guys seeing a... Oh, wait. I see something up there, maybe? No. No, I'm still confused of what you're talking about. Oh, over there. Ow. Oh. Okay. Let me check that out. I see what you're saying now. I see it. There we go. Thank you. He's called again Bogglings. Hi, Boggling. I wish to pet you. That's it. Can you pet the Boggling? You can pet the Boggling. <laughs> That's an amazing trophy. All right, so it looks like we could drop in. Yep. Pyrite shard in there. All right, but what else, if anything? Wait, what is that here? Is that the same room? That's the same room. Wow, it's much cooler to drop in from the ceiling. So we'll do that. What the? Okay. I don't know why that's a death distance. But if you say so, game. What'd you find? A mechanical touch. The outpost is small, but continuing to grow. The development means my knack for mechanics has attracted attention. I was asked to help. He did not want me to, but I did. I think by automating some of those or some of these sphere grenades, we could figure something out. 
spear grenades. Is this the room that's blocked in? Oh, yep, it is. Okay. A gift revoked. The others dig too much. They damage the cubes. Enough, enough. The spheres will stop them. They will stay away from the cubes or else. Looks like another shard. All right, this is going to spawn mines, Buddy, I believe. Over here. Yeah, this is totally going to spawn mines. Follow me. Dude, what the heck? That looks crazy. The planet looks like it's exploding. Or it's on fire or something. What am I looking at? That's nuts. All right, I think it's time we went into the settlement potentially. Although I do want to look over here. Ramblers reach outpost. Yeah, that just goes over there. All right, let's, let's take a look at this place. Kind of abandoned. Did Grease not shower and chase everyone out? Oh. Uh. Hi. They don't look friendly. Oh. Oh, come on, I gotta do it. That is very strange. Okay, I don't know what that was for. What? Who's the stranger? You don't look like no raider to me. Quick, just act useless. Easy. We're not looking to cause any trouble. Where's the cantina? Right over there. You can't miss it. Well, these two are on that data pad. So long. Eh. So this place. Not well. Priceless relic. The key we have been searching for. Except, of course, 
It's fate! I thought it was the real deal, Ravis. Honest! Oh. I believe you. But mistakes like these cannot be tolerated. Let this be a reminder of what happens when you cross the Bedlam Raiders! Kill him. Oh, no! No! Enough. Walk away. A Jedi. <laughs> Remind our friend here why his kind are supposed to be dead. <laughs> Oh my god, I double parry these. I had more for me. Alright. Too slow. Try and catch me up here. That won't last forever. <laughs> Oh, that was dumb. The stupid attack again. Rancor fight all over again. Next time you want to pick a fight, you go through us. <laughs> oh, what a delight to see one of your kind in action after all these years. Noble Jedi Knight, if you stay your half, I shall withdraw in peace. Be seeing you. This is him, Delma! This is the one who stood up to the Bedlam Raiders! Mm -hmm. All right, that, that's enough, Turgo. Turgo! Get over here. Yes. You're Doma? Well, yes, I am. You got a name, Jedi. I'm Cal. The Speedy One. <laughs> We'd, uh, appreciate it if you kept this quiet. Hmm. Well, out here on the frontier, only way we survive is by sticking together. That's right. You didn't have to step in just now, but you did. Yes, you did. Turgle, hey. shut it. Hey. We'll keep your secret safe. Cal. I'm sure we could both benefit from it. Thanks. Sweet. I saved that battle toad. The Prospectors of Kobo. Relatively rich in natural minerals and of some archaeological interest, Kobo has attracted a steady trickle of prospectors in the last several decades. Not all of them stuck around or survived, but those that do live a thrifty life, ever searching for enough scratch to survive. Oh, I got an entry for Ravis. A Jindai? Or the Jindai? Whatever that means. 
The Jendai Ravis is the leader of the Bedlam Raiders. He orders his lieutenant to kill Turgle after being sold a fake key. Seems a little upset. Remember to swing by my shop later. Will do. That's Doma Dendra. The unofficial mayor of Kobo. Doma has seen the outpost's ups and downs over the decades. Of all her many tasks, the most difficult is keeping Turgle alive. I feel like there's probably other databank entries. Let's go to the main... Oh, Rambler's Reach Outpost. At the mouth of the Koba Mountains, where steep slopes meet flat valley plains, lies the Rambler's Reach Outpost, the oldest post-Republic settlement on the planet. The outpost is built around a dust-balled main street and several smaller side streets. The main street is flanked on either side by a well-worn cantina, owned by one Grease Dritus, and a market run by the town's de facto leader, Domodendra. Oh, then we got one for Turgle. A schemer by nature, Turgle is always getting himself into trouble with the Bedlam Raiders. After Cal saves his life, Turgle feels indebted to the Jedi. Alright. Oh, Cal, I can't tell you enough how grateful I am you saved me. Anytime. And those moves! Incredible! Where did you learn to do that? I thought we agreed not to talk about that. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. But do you think you could teach me a few tricks sometime? I really don't want you to hurt yourself. But Doma says that's what I'm best at. Hi, Cal. That is a very interesting looking dude. And we hope we see you soon. Nothing. Thanks. Oh, well, that's a mistake. I'm looking for an old friend. Four arms. Hairy. Big mouth. No. Vertically challenged? You can come out now, old boy. The coast is clear. I tell you, Monk, the Bedlam Raiders are gonna be the end of this town. We got no hope. Zero. Zilch. Nothing. How you doing, BD? Ah. Wait a minute. Cow. Cow. Just get over here, you son of a bogling! Oh, 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 it's been a while. I missed you, kid. Hey. Let me look at you. You look terrible. Yeah, it's good to see you too, Grease. <laughs> hey, are you taking care of him? Are you taking care of the manis? Well, uh, we ran into some trouble on our last job. What sort of trouble? The Imperial kind. Oh, yeah, I should have guessed. They've been creeping around Kobo, too, lately. Jairo's burnt out on the Mantis. We'll need your help to get moving again. Yeah, sure, whatever you need. Come on, grab some seat. Listen, Monk, get my friend something special to drink. Refreshments. One slippery Monk coming right up. Welcome to Pilood Saloon, the finest dive this side of Zeltrot. <laughs> yeah, your description uh, didn't do it justice. Here's sand in your eye. Monkey and I picked it up from the previous owner to a, well, a, well... He caught a fatal case of blaster poisoning courtesy of the Bedlam Raiders. We've been introduced. You okay, Grease? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> as long as I don't have anything they need. Hey, what happened to the Manus? Oh. We are on Coruscant, gathering intel for Saw Guerrera. Things got bad. Only two of us made it out. <laughs> Everything I'm doing feels pointless. The Empire's only growing stronger. Things, uh... haven't been the same since the team split. Yeah, hey, we had some good times, didn't we, huh? Me, you, the Space Witch, Seer. Have you talked to her lately? Marin's always on the move, exploring new places, making new friends. I was talking about Seer. No. It's been a while. You? Well, her credits helped us get this place off the ground, but she hasn't visited yet. She's very busy with this new project. <laughs> hey, Cal. 
Why don't you relax a little before we fix the manis? The galaxy can wait a couple hours. Well, we should probably get moving as soon as we finish up. I got a spare room down in the basement made up especially for you. You should check it out. All right. Thanks, Grace. <laughs> Bring up some seat. Chat with the owner of the Cobalt Cantina. Grease Dritus, the former captain of the Stinger Mantis. Grease Dritus is the is the proprietor of Pyloon Saloon, a sleepy cantina located in the outpost at Rambler's Reach on Kobo. Quite the look he's got going on. So where's that room at again? The room? Oh, kid, you're gonna love it. Just take a right after the bar, through the kitchen, and down the stairs. Can't miss it. Right. Thanks again, Grease. Uh, yeah, yeah. You can thank me by getting some shut eye. You really do look terrible. All right, and then we also got an entry for M6NK Monk. Monk is the droid bartender at Bi at Pyloon Saloon and Grease's business partner. Armed with an encyclopedic knowledge of libations, he keeps tabs on troublemakers. Get some rest. We'll talk more later. You've been working here for a while? A while? No, I'd hardly call it working. You see, that would imply we had regular customers. Shame. This place has potential. And that's the story I keep telling myself, Sport. That's the story. Why don't you head down to the basement? Check out your new digs. We can chat after your rest. Who's this? Zig. You don't look like a raider. What gave it away? No blaster in my face. No spilling drinks and shouting bloody murder. Oh, cute droid, too. That's Speedy One. I'm Cal. About dang time we had some new faces in town. I'm Zig, by the way. Nice to meet you. Zig Souza. Zig is a mechanic and gearhead who has lived in in small frontier communities her entire life. She has a heart of gold and is always helping folks in need without an eye towards personal gain. Oh, I just like hit her in the face. <laughs> Cal, what are you doing? Great to see you. That's, that's very rude of you, Cal. What's this? Oh, man. Who's this? Kaij. Keep walking, slick. Suit yourself. Seems nice. This stage has seen better days. Moran. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? Is there a problem? I could have sworn I heard you stirring up a raider sized problem just outside. I didn't start that fight. Well, it certainly seems you finished it. I'd love to chat, but I'd better finish my drink before the next fight breaks out. It's gone There's the kitchen. Basement must be through here. Kobo's pretty far from the nearest trade route. Looks like Grease makes do with salvage. New characters or conversations are now available at Pylon Saloon on Kobo. Interesting, they tell you when there's new conversations. Actually, kind of like that. Right, we got the workbench. Can relax, what's this? Grease always had a green thumb. Now he talks to his plants. <laughs> Let's check this out later. I really need some rest. <laughs> My old scrapper outfit. Why did Grease keep this? I know. Creepy. 
<laughs> I guess that is kind of creepy. So I have outfits now. Wait, why don't I see it? Huh? Oh, okay. Do, do, do training purse skills. Let's look at skills. Survival. I get more health. I think like one shot at me. Maybe I can just barely survive. Off we go. Time to relax. <clears throat> Still talking in your sleep, huh? Guess some things never change. Weirdo. Hairball. Thanks for letting me crash here. Of course. Why do you think I've kept your stuff around all these years? I was hoping you'd stop by and maybe take a break. We both know what happens when I stay in one place too long. You said there's a spare gyro around here somewhere? We've got plenty of time to fix the madness. You are what I want to talk about. I'm fine. The sooner we get moving, the better. And then what? You're going to go find some trouble with Saw Guerrera? Maybe. Yeah. One of us has to keep fighting. That's funny. That's the exact same thing you said the day we all split up. Yeah, because I... Listen. I know you all had your reasons for leaving. But walking away isn't an option for me. I have to hold the line. And where's that gotten you, Cal? Look, I wish things were different, but you keep losing people. And you yourself said that the Empire is growing stronger every day. Now, maybe it's time for you to be something more than a lightsaber. Think about yourself. Settle down. Find a home. What? Home, Grease. There is no home. Home was the Order. It was my teacher. It was everyone I lost. What does their sacrifice mean if I go and I just give up and stick my head in the sand? I know you were dealt a bad hand, but you gotta take it from me. Somebody who had to learn the hard way. You gotta know when to walk away from a rigged game. Otherwise, you are gonna end up losing something you could never replace. Now you go ahead and look. I keep a lot of spare parts down there. I'm sure you'll be able to find whatever you need to get the manis up and running. Thanks. I appreciate all this. Kyle, can I tell you one thing? It's really good seeing you again. Yeah, you too. Grease. I'll think about what you said. Hey, uh, watch your step down there. Be careful. <laughs> I definitely have a pest problem. I'm objected. Find the gyro module. What's this? Pylune Saloon. The Mantis. Its system's failing. Barely makes it to Kobo. The ship crash landed in a dusty canyon on Kobo, far from the planet's main settlement, where Grease had opened a cantina. On the way there, Cal and BD1 were attacked by a local game known as the Bedlam Raiders. 
Upon reaching the outpost, Cal defended the locals from the raider's leader, a Jendai named Ravis. In the aftermath, Grease emerged from hiding, and the old friends reunited. While alarmed to hear of damage to the Mantis, the Latero was far more concerned with Cal's well-being. He convinces Cal to rest in a spare room he set up long ago for just this sort of visit. Now, uh, apparently... Oh. BD fine. BD, what'd you find? Go ahead, get the gyro, and you know, hurry back, be careful, and all the other warnings I used to give you two. Yeah, yeah, we'll be fine, and all the things we used to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure you'll be fine. I guess fine's enough. Oh, watch your step down there. Do me a favor, don't stir up any rats, or ghosts, or rat ghosts. I could do without extra problems for a day. It's been a while since I tidied up, so good luck down there, kid. That's not very reassuring. Now, compared to what Saw has you up to, this will be a walk in the park. Is that what PD kept finding? PD, what is this scan you supposedly have? There we go. What's Sears Halixet doing here? I don't remember. After we all split up, I was unpacking it. <laughs> there it was. Maybe she was hoping you'd learn. Uh, no, thank you. There it is. Okay. Let's see. Databank. Holoxet. This seven-stringed Holoxet once belonged to the Jedi Seer Junda, who composed music with it using psychometry. Cal was also able to play it, which is perhaps why Seer left it with him after she departed the Mantis. I can check the shop. What shop? I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I didn't do too bad with this place. All right, you could use the lick of paint, more frequent dusting, and in short, but that wasn't handcrafted on Alderaan. But hey, it's a basement. <laughs> Cut yourself some slack, Grace. He likes it. I think he likes it. All right, whatever. I don't see anything. I'm going. Old smuggling tunnels, huh? Gris always kept a few secrets up his sleeve. <laughs> Got a scan? Let's check it out. No way out. One of several tunnels routing beneath Pailoon Saloon, proximity to the landing pad would have made the passage ideal for smuggling goods in and out of the cantina, hidden from prying and curious eyes. Hi, Bog. Oh. Ouch. Poor Boglings. Boglings? Are these what spooked Grease? You're okay, bud. Have you been spooking Grease down here? Don't worry, I won't hurt you. three of them. I right, should be able to one-shot one right here. Or not. Oh, God. Oh, dang it. Yeah, God, can I please get a dodge roll? That dodge is so goofy, I hate it. Absolutely hate that dodge. All right. Oh, 
No dodge roll for me, apparently not. Alright, why didn't I get to do the uh, execute last time? I guess I didn't get close enough to him. Yeah, that is so useless. I don't know why I even tried it there. Jeez. Oh, that was a free skill point. Use these tunnels for a long time now. Dusty and abandoned. More scraps, huh? Leave it to Grease to take another person's junk and add more junk. Oh, weird that I didn't give an entry. Wonder why. Can I still not drop this? Apparently not. Oh god! Locked from the other side. Wait, how's this work again? Do I really have to do this? Wait. Wait, what? Oh, never mind. Is that it? Gyro module. Bring gyro module to Grease. Forces with me. Collapsed passage. All right. Let's go to our skills. What are we getting? Survivor. I don't know what I want. Let's go over to Force. Maybe. Maximum force increase, sure. I'll take that. Greater hold channeled energy. Cal regains more focus when he defeats an enemy and regains some force when he hits a blocking enemy. Sure. Well, actually, hold on. What's this one? Lucid attunement, maximum force increase. Let's, let's get this. that 
Hmm. Can't quite make it there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I can do that. Maybe something for later. Almost reminds me of the Jedi training grounds, but it feels different, older. Oh God! <laughs> I did not think I was gonna make that. Oh, I was supposed to wall run. That makes sense. Cal don't need no wall run. Man, I'm still. I still want to go that way. I don't see any way over though. Hmm. Oh crap. That one. Where the heck did we end up? Oh. Oh, what's this? What is this place? Hmm. Any reason to go back? No? Huh. Good find, BD. Disaster. Huge masses of rock fell through the roof and slammed into the subterranean sanctuary, indicating intense seismic activity above ground. Power's still running down here. Let's see if we can hit the lights. The Chamber of Duality. What is that? What's that? Okay. I'm gonna throw it there. Nope. Right, nope! What's this thing? Hmm. Not sure. My only guess is there. Care about that. This is something really obvious. I'm gonna feel dumb. Let's see. Uh, let me try putting in this thing. Oh, seems to like this. There we go. All right. Not bad. Think we could walk on that? Ooh. Oh. That was falling for a second. All right, we're good. Careful, BD. Sorry it has come to this. Will it be a complete memory purge? No. Only what the council demanded. Then at least I shall remember you. I am ready. What is your name, droid? 
am CNA4, of course. How may I serve the order? Z. Tell me how to navigate the Kobo Abyss. I have no information on that in my memory banks. Master Kree. You are aware the Republic has issued a full-scale evacuation order. I am. Um, that is why I have a very important task for you, Z. Take this. A tuna? Oh, what a fine model. Use that to open the forest array. Travel underground. Stop for no one. That is an order, Z. Am I not coming with you? No. The key to Tanalor is in that array. If you do not hurry, I fear it will be lost forever. May the Force be with you. has been here for hundreds of years. BD. We're gonna help you. Pleasure to meet you both. Some help would be most appreciated. This is ZNA4Z. Z is a droid from the High Republic era, tasked by Jedi Master Centauri Kree to recover the key to Tanalor. She immediately or takes to Cal, although she questions his unconventional attire. Uh, and then we've got the High Republic. The High Republic was an era of expansion and exploration, with Jedi helping lead the push to discover the greater galaxy and fold willing planets into the galactic community. The dangers that lay on the edges of their understanding, however, would prove a constant challenge. And then there's Santari Kree. As meteors streak across the Kobo sky, Santari Kree charges... The droid ZNA4 or Z to recover the key to Tantalor for the forest array. Unbeknownst to Z, Master Kree has just purged all knowledge of how to navigate the Kobo Abyss from the droid's memory banks. Alright, you would think I would just cut it with my lightsaber, but apparently not. So, what else can we do? We could turn it, maybe? Well, that's probably the bridge out of here. Oh, worth the shot. Maybe something up there. Let's see, did he give me another orb or will I need to take this one? I will need to take this one. Completely, Z. I'm a Jedi, all right. But you're not even wearing the proper robes. I'm more of a poncho guy. <laughs> I like that. Bridge, then you can reach the crane controls. Uh, I think. 
after so many idle years, who really knows? This droid's got more than a screw loose. What was that? I, uh, said, hold tight, Z. High Republic data disk. I bet Z would have some use for it. Oh. Okay, well apparently uh we give those to her. took them. I was knighted in the field. And what was the reason for this flagrant breach of protocol? It's a long story. Okay. I'm over here now. Oh, wall run. There we go. Jedi paint. Take a look. Well, I, I must admit, I am in need of repair. <laughs> oh. So, Z, what's Tanalor? Hmm. A planet hidden within the Cobalt Abyss. Hmm. It's home to a Jedi temple. light on the galactic frontier. At least that's what my master hoped Tanalor might become. I should do it for now. Just gotta figure a way out of this place. Well, I can help with that. It's this... Was it that? No. Oh! Yes, it is this way. Follow me. Can't say I do. No matter, but I think she would have liked you. Hey, Lynn. Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. I need to get out of here. I am very fortunate you came along when you did. Yeah, you could have been down here forever. Right, what's this one giving me? This one is new perk. Nice. Didn't know I'd get perks from those. Uh, all right, I gotta go to a meditation place to slot it. The, that planet you mentioned. What's it like? Tanalo. Oh, what a wondrous place. How do I get there? Navigate the Kobo Abyss. That must be the knowledge your master purged from your memory banks. Well, she must have had her reasons. Okay. 
I think I saw a databank thing pop up. Let me look. Uh, no, maybe not. I'm not a Bedlam Raider spy. I'm a friend of Cal Kestis. Cal, what's it? I told you, buddy, you're in the wrong cantina. I don't know anybody named Cal Kestis. Hey, Grease. Oh, that Cal Kestis. Found the gyro. You made it. Good to see you, Cal. Grease Dritus, this is Bodakuna. He was on Coruscant. Wouldn't have made it out alive without his help. Oh, all right. Hi, nice to meet you. Unfortunately, I don't think I have another bed available. Wait a minute. Another one? Cal? You have a very bad habit of picking up strays. I am ZNA4, humble servant to the Jedi Order. Oh, I take you haven't broken the news yet. She was trapped underground. I've never seen this design before. This droid almost looks like an antique. Did you find anything down there worth credits? Credits? <laughs> Cal, you have saved me, but I must ask more to steal. Oh, here it comes. Master Centauri ordered me to open the forest array, but given my condition, I cannot fulfill that duty. Please. If I fail my mission, the key to Tanalor may be lost forever. Wait a minute. Did you just say Tanalor? You've heard of it? Yeah, it's an old prospector's legend about a lost world filled with treasure. Maybe this droid proves it's more than a myth. Could be worth checking out. Yeah, but first, I gotta fix the menace before the raiders snatch it. I'll escort you out there. Watch your back while you make the repairs. Huh. Is he as tough as he looks? Next to Seer, he's the best marksman I've ever met. Okay. We'll take care of the menace. I'll go see what's in the forest. Thank you, Cal. As soon as I am in full operating order, I will join you in the forest array. Uh, Z. Whoa there, Heritage. While they're all sallying forth, why don't you ease up on the thrusters? Come along. I can get you tuned up, shined up, and, uh, <clears throat> caught up on the state of the galaxy. Cal, I'm gonna lock up the saloon so the raiders don't trash it. My Use pleasure. the back door, would you? Explore Pyloon Saloon. Thanks to Cal's efforts, the Ramblers Reach Outpost is steadily improving. New shops and activities are now available. Domo Shop Unlocked. Domo Shop in the Kobo Outpost is now accessible. Rare minerals found across Kobo can be spent here. Recruit for the Outpost. Across the galaxy, Cal can meet new residents who can help improve Ramblers Reach Outpost. Make sure to return here to... Uh, Wait, what? Make sure to return here to after recruiting them to Kobo. That is a broken sentence. Hmm. That's some serious firepower. 
That's not exactly what I want to hear from my escort, pal. <laughs> Relax. You're in safe hands. You'll be all right, Grease. If you say so. Alright, so maybe this key thing opens some of those doors I haven't been able to, to go to. We've got... All in. Bode sees Tantalor as the only place left in the galaxy that the Empire can't reach. Throwing his lot in with Cal, Bode seems a crew member of the Stinger Mantis. Or, seems. Bode becomes a crew member of the Stinger Mantis. Uh, the key to Tantalor... Grease pointed Cal to the tunnels beneath the outpost, where he stored spare parts for the Mantis. While down there, Cal discovered the ruins of an old structure and a droid from the High Republic era pinned beneath fallen debris. Touching the droid, Cal experienced a vision. Amid a cataclysmic disaster, the Jedi Knight Centauri Kree entrusted the droid ZNA-4 or Z with a tuner device, charging her with saving the lost planet of Tantalor. After saving Z and returning with her to the cantina, Cal found Bode had arrived, seeking payment. Insistent, Z charged Cal with finishing her duty, seeking out the key to Tantalor in the forest array. Thinking there might be something to it, Bode takes Grease to the re or Bode takes Grease to repair the Mantis while Cal and BD set out to the forest. And then we have the Republic Tuner device. A device that once belonged to and was invented by Jedi Master Santari Kree, developed in conjunction with her research into the anomalous material of Kobo, it acts as a resonator and activation device. Kree used the tuner to keep personal and classified areas safe from threats on the galactic frontier, like the ever unpredictable Nihil Marauders. So how is Kobo? You get away from it all like you wanted? Oh, I had to, kid. Away from the Empire, the Haxian Brood. Escape all the trouble. Trouble always seems to find us, Grease. Haven't you learned that by now? Ha! Huh, no kidding. Just like that old droid, huh? You think Z's trouble? Are you chaffing me? She sticks out like potpourri in a padre. Uh, not that I'm too picky. You meet any more lost souls with sob stories, send them over to Pylun, you hear? Place could use a little trouble. I wonder if Kobo will have any legends about me. <laughs> Maybe I'll go spread a rumor or two. Go on. I gotta focus on sussing out your boy here. Good to see you landed on your feet, Cal. So how'd everything turn out? Bravo's gone. I had a feeling. I'm really sorry, Cal. I know how much he meant to you. He was a good friend. They all were. I'll miss them. Definitely not your standard crew. I could tell that from the start. Yeah. Yabs, Bravo, the twins. We were close. I understand. Just remember that you're not alone in all this. Glad you're here, Boat. I got your back, brother. Thanks for looking after Grease while I chase down this lead. Twice the arms, twice the fun, right? More like twice the trouble. Ooh, can't wait. Keep an eye on Grease for me, all right? Don't worry, Cal. You handle the mystery in the forest. I'll handle Grease. You worry about the array, whatever that is. We'll handle the Mantis. I wish those raiders would just leave us alone. Every time they smash things up, I'm the one who's got to fix them. The outpost is lucky to have you. Sure. I just wish I could build something that couldn't be knocked down, that's all. Yeah, me too. Gets lonely patching up the outpost on my own. Be nice if I had a partner. Kobo's a big planet. There's gotta be someone out there who thinks like me. Cal's not picking up on those hints at all. Weird bucket of bolts you dragged in. Well, actually, she's a droid from the High Republic. Don't care. Run along now. I can see why you sit alone. Wait, is that that blue lady from the... From the posters? Like, there was a wanted thing for us, and there was, like, a blue lady. I wonder if that's her. So, bartender, where's this oil bar you mentioned? Coming right up, Heritage. Coming right up. But something tells me you'd appreciate the soap more after we chat. Strap yourself in. I fear this update might be a little hard to process. Oh, come now. I can bear a little bad news. Spare no detail. 
Well, where to start? Uh, okay, a few years ago, the Supreme Chancellor decided democracy was out of fashion and declared himself emperor. The Republic is no more? I'm afraid so. In fact, these days, you'd be hard-pressed to name a planet free from Imperial control. Calamitous indeed. Heritage, you're looking a little low on power. Once say we pause a tick so you can regain your bearings. Yes, perhaps that would be best. Hey Z, know anything about that forest array? My memory banks are coming up short, Cal, but it is surely the work of Master Kree. How do you know? In her time, she had no equal. There were other scientists and technicians, yes. But all that you see here on Kobo is her work, one way or another. Not now, Cal. Why don't we catch up once you've returned from the forest array? Cal, another time, yes? I'm awaiting my oil bath. Still here, Cal? That array won't open itself, you know. <laughs> so impatient. So how long have you known Bo? Not long. We worked together on Coruscant. And what line of work exactly? A little of this, a little of that. I see. Say no more, Cal, say no more. I know when I'm about to step in it. <laughs> Actually, that reminds me of a colorful expression from Calistar. If you stand beneath the Presta Bird nest, rain will come even in the desert. And when the rain comes... You best get out of the way. Cal, let's chat later. Z and I are catching up on the state of the galaxy. Sorry, Cal, but I'm busy tending to heritage here. Well, that reminds me. I should check on that oil bath soon. Apologies, champ, but I'm a tad busy with your new friend here. Maybe another time. You brought that droid in? Saved her too, huh? Just helped her get back on her feet. And he asked for nothing in return. Well, she did let me hang on to her tuner key. Ooh, a tuner key? What? You found a real one? That's right. Do you think I could maybe... You uh... can't borrow it, Turgle. Ah. Uh, hiya. So we told the loudmouth about getting a real key? Seems like a bad idea. Listen, friend. What's your name? It's Cal. Moran. Charm. You seem a decent sort, Cal. Look. Maybe you're just the latest fool to get tangled up with the Bedlam Raiders, or maybe you're the real deal. But this place will bleed you dry. Understand? Get out while you can. Noted. Moran. Washed up trader whose best days are behind him. Moran whiles away his hours in a saloon, bemoaning the empire that destroyed his livelihood. Talk later, hmm? I actually want to go back into the caves because there was an area I didn't explore before falling into the Jedi place. Oh, what's that? Found items. Huh? Prior ice shards, data disks. Oh, did we not have this before? And a Kobo seed. Continuing exploring the galaxy to discover this treasure and who finds it valuable. Okay. Oh, and she wants my priorite shards. Spend these at Domodendra's shop. Got it. if these will have respawned or not. Let's see. Alright, now I killed them before dying. Okay. Yeah, I want to see what's over there. I guess... Nah, maybe I did get everything. Oh, well. Worth a shot. Oh. 
out. Let me guess. More prospecting equipment. Is there anyone on Kobo who isn't digging for scraps? Alright, so that goes down. Is there anything to actually do down here? So apparently I can return to that temple area. I don't see any reason to though. What about that water spot? Can I jump into there? It looked like you could. Well, it's pretty far down. Maybe not. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's got the... that. Well, let's find out. If it kills me, it kills me. All right. Does this go down? Oh, it does. That leap of faith. Man, I fell like 15 feet into a building earlier and it killed me. I thought for sure I was going to die there. seeing anything in here. Although I thought I saw green before we jumped in, but maybe not. Yeah, actually, what is that? I see something. What is this? Hey, hey, look at that. Got the eye for shinies. Oh, I have unlimited breath underwater. I got the tactical pants. Tactical pants? How do I... Slightly different. Actually, you know what? I'll take the tactical pants. Why not? Tactical pants. They're so tactical. Log goes on his way. Better not be. Force essence acquired. Maximum force increased. Cool. That's Wait, not opening. What? I'm on the other side. What the? Well, maybe I'm not. I thought that was that one door we couldn't open earlier. I guess this would be lower, huh? If anyone's curious, this water doesn't bother me at all. It's not that deep. And I can see. I can see the bottom. It does not bother me at all. Oh boy. Wait, was that there before? I don't remember that. What the heck? I guess we never went this way. Huh. I can wall run there, but obviously I can't get through the barrier. Hmm. Interesting. How do I feel about heights? Eh, they don't bother me that much. How am I liking the game so far? It's good. It's got some... Some issues with the combat, but nothing too major. Just some annoying things. Alright, well this it's is locked fine. down. We'll return here later. I think I don't have whatever it wants me to have. Whatever I need. All right.
Okay. Back in Pyloon Saloon. Even covers his cantina couches with patoli weave fabric. Classic grease. Who this? Oh, it's you. You're the new guy, right? Sorry, I missed that. Say that again. I didn't say anything. Oh, right. Must be that ringing in my ears. The other day, this roller mine blew up, nearly took my head off. There is a building just off the path to Dredge Canyon. That's where the roller nearly got me. I bet they're guarding something useful, but I'm not going back there. Maybe we'll check it out. Be my guest and be careful. This ringing in my ears is driving me crazy. It's a rumor. Investigate the roller mine factory so that I can be deaf and talk like her. You check out those rollers in the building yet? Still working on it. Toma! Hey there. Bench. Hi, Doma. What's this? Shop. We're tied to Doma. Welcome. Take a look. You'll find the finest components in sundries this side of the outer rim. Now that's a Doma Dendra guarantee. Hear that, buddy? A guarantee. That's right. Shop built on trust and quality, and I aim to keep it that way. Oh, what a helpful droid. Mysterious key code unknown. This key code will open the locked door in Doma's shop. Huh. That is 10 shards. Well, I kind of want to check that out. We could get a headband. Oh. Oh, it's hair. <laughs> wow, that is a very different look for Cal. To See give him the hawk. Like. Oh, that is the... Uh, uh, why am I blanking? Oh my god. Obi-Wan Kenobi, look. I guess. A little bit, yeah. He's got a little bit of Kenobi in him. The Shag. Buzz cut. That's Extended mustache. Corsair jacket. Frontier. Bandolier, Commander, Fr Frontier looks kind of nice. Oh, I knew that. Oh, it was an undershirt. Never mind. I was like, it didn't seem to change. Training shirt, Frontier pants, Outriders, Spice Man. Oh, these are music tracks. Who mourns for Terrace? I don't know. I kind of want to see the secret room. Mysterious key code. This key code will open the locked door in Doma shop. You know what? Let's do it. I'm going to buy You're this. You're a careful shopper, huh? Mysterious key code acquired. Yeah, some good-for-nothing raider triggered the security on my storeroom door. Now it's locked shut. Maybe your little droid can use this encrypted backup code to get it open. We need to use this. My goodness, you unlocked it. Feel free to take whatever you can make use of. All right, what we got? What's our mystery gift? Stims? Another stem. Here you go. Nice. 
Nice. Max stems increased. That was definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Alrighty. Let's see anything there with these two. Hey fellas, how long you been together? Too, Too long. long. We were one of the first people here and both tried scouting for Priorite. Had zero idea what we were doing. Couldn't find anything. Then I remembered I hate the outdoors. And I got a sunburn on my gastrodermis. Not fun. <laughs> Then I caught sight of the most pathetic, bumbling prospector ever to walk the planet. Rumsey Forlow. Me too. Of course, we both started making fun of clumsy Rumsey. I laughed at Gulu Zingers. And I at Guido's. And we've been stuck together ever since. Because we shared something special. Rumsey was a loser. Still puts a smile on my face. Gulu and Guido. Gulu, a cantankerous old timer, and his long time, or and his lifelong partner Guido, a cantankerous old timer, spend all day, every day, lounging around in front of the local saloon. They roast, joke about, and tease everyone and everything that dares cross into their field of view. Something you need? That's the gate Z told us about. Oh, I guess that's the forest. <laughs> hey, what's this? Oh, just goes through. About this the landing pad. Oh, once again, red. Oh, something's angry. I'm ready. Oh. Maybe it's above me. Maybe this is where the mantis will eventually go. Is that that mosey girl? Is that you, muscles? Nah, no, come. Who's this? You heading to the cantina anytime soon? Probably. I dare you to put a restraining bolt on Monk. Why would I do that? Because he won't serve me anymore. Tab, schmab, I'll give him credits when I got credits. Yeah, nope, I like Monk. Screw you, buddy. Monk and me are tight. Oh, hello. I want that. How do I get in there? Hmm. Sure. Maybe from up there. But even that I kinda doubt. Weird, maybe we don't have whatever we need. Looks like a fit in there. No. Yeah, I don't know about that. All right, that's something for later. Oh, it's muscles. He returns. Glad you came to Kobo, Cal. You're a hard worker, aren't you? You're always putting others before yourself. How can you tell? Smudge of dirt on your pants, whiff of adrenaline. Your eyes dart for danger, alert. 
I call it Hunter's Eyes. To trap game. A hunter refines her ability to observe. But for the record, your friendly demeanor don't fool me one bit. That right. Oh, yeah. You're a natural hunter, and you damn well know it. Who taught you to hunt, Mosey? Well, I grew up in a large family. My siblings and I competed with one another for attention, praise, food sometimes. Had to be the strongest to stand out. Sounds intense. Yeah, Mama was hardest on me. Always pointing out a mistake, criticizing my techniques. That must have toughened you up. Yeah, it likely did. But I've come to resent it. Probably the reason why I flung myself here. I barely knew my parents. Yeah. Well, that ain't always a bad thing now, is it? Later, BD. BD? What, what am I? Chop liver on my hair. BD's cute. But I'm here too. Alright, no idea what this place is. Door is locked. The other, side. other side, is it? There's a water passage. Let's see. Oh, never mind. I thought this was deeper. <laughs> Alright. Come back to this later. Okay. Well, I think I've seen most of it. Who's hey, this? Hey, you. You're the one taking shots at the raiders, right? That's me. Bad idea. The raiders have got eyes all over the reach. What kind of eyes? Ravis has got a watchtower in the valley. Maybe I'll check it out. Figured you'd say that. Head towards the spires. Can't miss it. Of course, they won't miss you either. You know, because of the watchtower. Investigate the raider watchtower. You didn't try anything brave at that watchtower, did you? Not yet. Smart. Oh, who's this? Hello there. Twenty cycles ago, heard this town was nothing but a few shacks. Now look at it. Yeah. Sometimes I wish I could go back there, see what was really like to rough it. You could always head into the wilderness and start your own town. I think I'll stay here, thanks. All right, where's that crazy building with all the, like, probes coming out of it? Is that this one? Yeah, this one. What's up with this place? Get me hey, in there, BD. A little help? Always on point. Oh, red. All right. I mean, why don't we just take refuge in there? That seems like a pretty secure spot. It's this place. Oh. Yeah, that doesn't look great. All right, we'll come back to this later. All right, let's go this way. Time for some exploration. All this story stuff's got me hungry for exploration. <laughs> I really like those droids. They're great. Uh, I don't see a way up. So I'm gonna have to go all the way around. Although, I guess I could do my goofy wall climbing on that, maybe. Oh, PG, what'd you find? Oh. Hey, where'd he go? Oh, uh, maybe it's inside. He's getting confused. Come on, buddy. 
Yeah, he's confused. All right, well, I was going to go that way, but... Uh... Oh, Burbell Squish. New seat disc. Wait. Oh, I just ran through it? Okay, I guess I ran through it. I got it. I'm the best. Oh, hello. We can yeah, trade this at Doma's shop. As long as I don't use the force, they won't hide. All right, where am I? I'm near the hangar. All right, we're going to go this way, actually. Actually, hold on. This way. I'm being indecisive. Hello. Target spotted. <laughs> that worked. Success. Bird up there. Oh, it looks like there might be something over here. Interesting. Oh, this is red. Very subtle red. All right, well, let me get whatever that is. We'll come back here. What about over here? Where's this go? Oh. Hey, have I been here? Oh, this is kind of like hidden over here. Interesting. Well, let's check this out. It's this place. Oh, well, not that way. That way's nasty. Who dis? Well, hey there, traveler. Well, hey there. Hi there. <whistles> don't mind the beast. She don't like strangers. The mountain don't neither. You be careful. I'll try. Thanks. Prospector's folly, we call it. Pretty treacherous. Crawling with all kinds of dangers. Sounds like our kind of place. I, I gotta say, a lot of Cal's dialogue with these people, he sounds so bored. <laughs> so sounds like my kind of place, I guess. I, I, I mean, I kind of do adventuring things from time to time, I suppose. There's stuff beyond these crags that make your blood run cold. Oh, uh, we could tell you some stories. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> oh man, we could tell you some stories. We could, we could really tell you some stories. There's been a lot of things that have been happening. It's really exciting things. Uh. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it's like, how do I get over there? I guess I can go too. BD1. My bantam old mum dubbed me Scuba Stev. Scuba the Fisher, am I? You know, there's a fish tank down in Pylon Saloon that could use some attention. Pylon Saloon? That will have infested watering hole down in your valley. All right, all right. Good I ask. Ah, fine, twist my arm. I'll do it. 
Maybe at the saloon and we'll appraise this so-called tank. Scuba Stev. <laughs> I love that. Scuba or Scuba Stev. Totally not Scuba Steve. A master fisherman obsessed with his craft, Scuba Stev is a fount of wisdom, knowledge, and encouragement, as long as the topic is fishing. Ah, can you could have stay away? You don't even say the sea spray once has messed your gums. I guess not. You're the aspect of a fisher lad. And uh, lucky for you, we're perched just above the layer of the sea fish. Sea fish, huh? That's right. An impossible catch. No fisher in the right mind would pursue such a quarrelsome foe. No fisher, but Scuba Stev. <laughs> oh, he's my favorite character. Sea fish, new fish discovered. <laughs> That was pretty impressive. You still think I'm small time, eh? No, I believe well, you. Well then, I've no choice but to regale you with my bleak most history. Tell me a moment, and I'll tell you a thing or two about old Scuba Stan. <laughs> what is this fish he caught? A sea fish. Actually, hold on, I'm gonna look Scuba Stev first. Oh wait, what's, oh, I got another one. About Prospector's Folly. Prospector's Folly is so named for the many who have met their end attempting to tame its peaks. It rises like a threat or a challenge to any bold or foolish enough to ascend. There are rumors of a facility dating back to the High Republic, hidden somewhere among the rocks, but none have ever returned to confirm such tales. Sightings of Imperial forces in the foothills have also deterred any further exploration. Scuba Stev! Oh, wait, we saw this. Uh, and sea... Oh, and sea fish... The sea fish may not be the rarest of all fish, but it is nevertheless a tricky creature to catch on account of its agility. Found most often at higher elevations, the sea fish has learned to flit and dodge through the water to make it harder for airborne predators to gain purchase. So, you wish to prick up your ears and receive the tail of scuba? If you're sharing stories, we'll listen. Then you be a fool, my lad. A sordid tale will bring you nothing but grief and woe. Okay, well, if you're not sharing stories, we'll... Oh, fine, I'll tell you. At your own assistance, and at your own peril. My story begins in a small village on the frozen banks of Sakavi Tar. My home world. Nights black as quellfish in it. Winter so cold, a stern look can turn you to glass. Doesn't sound like the easiest place to grow up. Difficult, aye. From the moment your mother's milk froze on your tongue to the moment you found it upon frozen streets. You see, the fishes, they had the right of it. They dwelt far below the ice, where warm currents danced like ribbons in the wind. To fish so scarce a quarry, on account of the great fish famine, well, it's nearly a mild undertaking. But for all the belly aching now, there's a peaceful enough life for a wee Sakarian with an instinct for the rod. So you discovered your talent early. Such a talent was I, that as a lad, me hardly spotted my first prickly chin here. I was given an audience with Undun. But that'd be a tale for another time. Sakavitar, Skuva regales Kale or Cal with his history. Beginning with his upbringing on Sakava, Sakavitar, a frozen world whose only food source is a vast aquatic ecosystem beneath its surface. The famine-stricken Sakavians struggled to subsist. Oh, and uh, some advice, lad. If you're planning to scale the mountain, you'll need to give a strong grip. All right, Skuva Stev. Thank you for the advice. And thank you for the fish. Oh, we got the slicked back hair. Man, that makes him look very different. Nah, I'm good. 
Let's head out. Hmm. Cargo elevator. Prospectors envisioned many grand projects for Kobo. Most were never realized, but an elevator for transporting halls from the mountain summit was somehow completed successfully. I guess a platform is somewhere else. All right, well, it would appear that we can't go this way yet. I do kind of want to go in this water, though. Oh, and I can go that way. All right. What do we got down here? Oh, it's of shiny, of course. Got a knack for these things. I got the patience pommel. Expecting those bugs that hide. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, it's a chicken. We meet again, chicken. I better meditate. I need to focus. Before he decides to one shot me. Maybe he'll one shot me while I'm meditating. Maybe this was a bad idea. Perks! I got that perk. Where'd it go? Resilience. Block meter is increased. I'll take it. We meet again! Chicken. Want some of this? Want some of this? Come on. Bring it. Do your charge. I'm not scared. Do your charge. Do it. Do, do it? Alright, go for it! Oh god, cow! Don't fall off the edge. Hello. Eyes up, trooper. Intruder. Can we open fire? Let's shoot him. Negative. This force field can withstand anything these locals throw at it. Well, that's not very nice. Authorized access only. Turn back, scum. Just passing through, officer. <laughs> Nothing that ain't made of Dura steel is passing through this electron wall. Weapon hot, sir. Let's shoot him before he gets ideas. Negative. We've got our orders. Sure you can't make an exception? You smell that, scum? That's imperial air you're breathing. So get back before I forget my orders and we see how tough you really are. Why don't you drop the shield and we'll find out? <laughs> nice try, Vermin. Lucky for you, this gate's got a remote switch. Only base command can open it. Yeah, or we'd tear you to scraps. Clamp it, trooper. I'm handling it. Copy that, sir. Blockhead. You got ferrocrete ears, scum, or just a death wish? I ain't changing my mind. Get out of here. Now. You got ferrocrete ears, scum, or just a death wish? I ain't... You will lower the shield. I... Uh... Uh... I'm totally harmless. I'm not worth your time. It's easier to let me through. <laughs> oh, that's fun. I love that. Slice security droid. Press down the D-pad to slice and control damaged KX series security droids. Oh, really? Oh, right, this. Yeah, this got me in trouble a lot, though. I don't know. It's good in certain circumstances, but it tended to punch me as much as it punched the enemies. This won't be easy. Think 
think of the rewards, Shanna. Come on. Okay. Braving the heights. Two prospectors determined to push on into the mountain's more treacherous climbs. Survey what lies ahead of them. Uh, man, does not look like I could jump that far, but I can. And a seed. I was okay. Kobo Spiker, Felucian Yellow, new seed discovered. Not a bad find. And a priorite shard. Hmm. This might be all I can do over here for the time being. Unless we see another path. I think this might be it. Yeah, I don't see a way through. Alright, we shall return later, I suppose. <laughs> enough shards for a mustache. You really want me to get that mustache, don't you? Yeah, I don't see another way through. Alright, we'll be back later. Oh, what's that? Careful. There's nothing to worry. Whoa! I got you, Shanna. Thanks. Curious pair. Two prospectors are gazing over the waterfall. One slips and is saved by the other. They shake it off before heading on. Who dis? What? Who are you? I don't know. Who am I? Oh, okay. No one you need to worry about. Handlebar mustache and mullet, coolest Jedi. Something, something like that. Definitely the, uh, one of the more, uh, exotic Jedi, I'd say. Okay, so that let me here. Let's go this way. Here before? If it was, I completely missed it. Huh. I don't know if that just arrived or I just somehow didn't see it, but. That's there. Hello! Ooh, how you like that? How you like my nail? Get it open. Oh, there we go. Oh boy. Ah, that's not what I wanted. Dual blade. Crap. 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 Right here, bud. I'm actually excited the dual blade finally has some use. Because I just could not find one in the first game. You ain't the sharpest quanker, are you? Captain says I'm well rounded. About as round as they come, I reckon. Alright, what was the point of this? There's, there's gotta be something in here. Really? Just a bunch of dudes for no reason? Well, that's a little disappointing. Oh well, they're dead. <laughs> eh, 
Yeah, I wonder why that's there. Weird. Okay, and that leads to, oh, I, well, I guess if you were dumb enough to fall down there, you're gonna have a surprise, but I can't see any other reason you would go down there, <laughs> except for on accident. I don't know. Anyways, so, oh, what was that? Oh, oh, hello. Oh. I hate those things. The worst. Oh, I thought I could climb this. How many battles have you fought in? Lost count a long time ago. I've experienced 2.73 combat encounters. Uh, let's see on a way through. This is all about. Huh. Well, let's go this way. Windler's Wash. Is that an enemy? I don't know what that. Oh, it's a big chicken. <laughs> Screw you. Oh. Never mind, he looked bigger. Take that chicken. Regular sized chicken. Hey, you want some of this? Oh, God. Oh, God, no! No! I hate the chickens! <laughs> oh my god, those are the worst enemies. Where am I? Oh, I'm way up here. Oops. Dude, why does that one shot? That's so broken. <laughs> I mean, it's it's fairly easy to avoid, so it's like, you know, you get hit with it, you deserved it, but. Man, why does that hit so hard? I can get hit with a rocket and get up, but I get headbutted by a chicken, it's game over. Legend of Zelda reference, maybe? Um, maybe? One jump you out of nowhere. <laughs> Setsuna has a vendetta against these chickens. Chickens must die. Alright, you just gotta wait. Be patient. I'm waiting. Okay. Chickens have been defeated. My mortal enemy has been put down. Tenders for all. Oh, oh god, no! Yeah. Yeah, that's all you got? That's all you got? Look at this! I'm like nervous. The chickens are gonna come out of nowhere. What is this? This is strange. Yes, yes it is. Oh. Oh, uh, okay. If 
Fractured Resolve. What? Okay, I'm timed. Oh, God! Oh, okay. Oh, jeez! Alright, they are... Okay, they're like... Whoa! What the? Oh, there's like... Okay, I see it now. I see it now. Wait. No. Oh, okay. Go. Oh no! Oh, it swip swapped right in time. That was good. Is there a way to tell when it's gonna change? Oh my god. Oh my god, it broke. No, 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 I don't wanna, I don't wanna cheap win. Oh wait, no, it didn't break, that was the entrance. <laughs> Never mind. I got turned around. Yep, it is totally changing every time I jump. That is interesting. I did not notice that. Before. Wow, that makes this a little bit easier. I thought it was like freaking random when changing on me. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, I couldn't jump in time. Dang, that was dumb. All right, here we go. We're going for speed. Well, oh, maybe not speed. Something like that. Oh. Thought it was a little more left. All right. Stop failing. Seems happy now. It's not purple anymore. It's gold. So I guess that means success. Now I died. Is that? Did I technically die? Okay. I, I apparently didn't like actually die because the chickens aren't here. Can I climb that? Back to where it was, though. Who knows? Maybe the gate this way is locked or something. 
What was the reward for the jump puzzle? It seemed like it gave me a skill point. Okay, can I open this? No. Okay. Two skill points. Let's see what we got available. Maybe in lightsaber. Actually, what we got for the dual bladed now that I actually have a use for it. Gathering Tempest. Hold square to deal fast strikes towards a single enemy. Single enemy? I don't know. We'll give it a shot. I don't know. But I unlocked the rest of the trees. So I'll give it a, we'll give it a go at some point. So, that way it looks no go. Definitely no go. So, this way. Alright, so we got that over there. I don't. Oh, hello. What are you? Well, I have to fight it. I can't just not fight it. I can't just not fight it. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Ow. Oh, what the? What is that crap? Oh, I could have like pushed him or something. No. Interesting. Oh crap! No, oh, I tried to push it, didn't do anything. Oh no, you don't. Nope. He's not going well, but he's almost dead. Easy. No sweat. <laughs> Bioma. Force powers have a limited effect except when the Bioma is preparing to show. Yeah, I tried that. It didn't do anything. Maybe I was too slow. Dodging its attacks opens up opportunities to strike its undefended rear. The large, thick hided Bioma has made a home amongst Kobo's many crags, caves, and crevices. When disturbed, they react fiercely with kicks, bites, spits, and charges. Their hard exterior is resistant to most conventional weaponry, though there are several more tender spots that can be exploited. So, <laughs> strike its butt, I guess. Good luck getting back there. Hmm. Really? Nothing here? Maybe I can climb up over here? Strange. Oh, here's a wall run. Oh. Well, that would have just bypassed them. Maybe. I don't know. Keep going that way. That's really it. So how did I get? How did I get up here? Huh. Oh, there's got to be a way. Hmm. 
There must be a way. I wonder how long this has been here. Hi, Rayshard. Uh, oh, I see it now. Tricky. Oh, yeah. Nice job, Cal. Health essence acquired. Maximum health increase. Very nice. Now, that still doesn't explain how we get that prior right charge. That's way out there. I don't know if I can jump that far. That's pretty freaking far. I don't know. I've got this nifty Jedi jumping, but I don't know about that. Oh, wow, cow. Jeez. Look at them hops. Hey, not bad. I did not think he was going to pull that <laughs> off. All right, let me backtrack a little bit more. Oh, jeez. How am I going to get back there? Well, uh, maybe I'll find a shortcut back because I, I might have missed something from... There. I don't think I could get back. Well, actually, I could get back if I make that jump again. That's a crazy jump. I can't believe he can make that jump. That's crazy. Jeez. All right. Did I miss anything back here? Oh, we didn't go in here, did we? Oh yeah, we did. Oh no, we didn't. What the heck? Find the threat. New material for the tactical pants. Or just material in general. Let's see. Let's go with this. Alright. Yeah. Can I climb this? Nope. All right. Let's see. Okay, so I did have to kill that thing. I thought maybe there was a way to avoid it, but it's definitely in the way. There was no avoiding the bio maw. Proud of me? I use the dual bladed lightsaber. B1 melee battle droid. A charged up force push or certain advanced lightsaber techniques can quickly destroy entire groups of them. Oh, really? Though aggressive, they are no match for a Jedi and will quickly fall apart when repeatedly attacked. 
As the backbone of the Separatist infantry, B-1 battle droids were typically outfitted with standard E-11 blaster rifles. The B-1 droids of Kobo, however, can often be found wielding makeshift batons and reconfigured tactical program programming. In this way, the Bedlam Raiders created a more irregular, threatening army while also compensating for munitions lost during the Lucra Hulk's long rest in Kobo Swamp. Good job, Shinies. We are proud of you. Thank you. I'm branching out. Into this brave new world. Hey, it's Baby Steps. I killed some little ankle biter monsters and then I killed a group of droids. You don't know what might be next. Heck, I might go resurrect that Rancor just so I can kill him with a dual bladed lightsaber. Tactical vest. You know? I kind of don't mind that. Four arm bracer as well as an additional under vest. Eke out every last opportunity for defense. You know, I'm going to wear it. Why not? Where is the shirt, though? I would like to change the shirt. Oh, it is the shirt. Never mind. I thought it was. I thought the vest changed for some reason. That's fine though. I I'll wear it. I'm good. Matches my hair. What if they found the device Ravis is looking for? Then we'll kill him and take it. Charge! You're afraid! You can't stop us all! Oh, what? I missed that theory. Put them in the ground! Oh, what the fast one? Okay, that is good, actually. Oh, wow. I'm pretty sure this move was not... That's actually pretty good. Shortcut! Unlocked. Double-edged saber is buffed up a lot on this. It seems like it. These raiders are keeping the Empire at bay. At least they're good for something. Because my god, was it worthless in the first game. Okay, so that's where I came from. All right. Uh, I didn't miss anything over here, did I? I don't think so. Yeah. Oh wait, what's that? No, we're good. Here we go. Open the forest gate. We're in. Reach the forest array. Ray should be out here somewhere. Only way forward is to cut through. What are those? You catch that too, BD? You're not alone out here. Looks like it's blocked. Uh -oh. Sit tight, BD. Let me see what I can do. Who this? Was oh, that a chicken? Die, chicken! 
Oh. I could have. Wait, I can knock this whole thing over. That seems like a bad idea, though. Well. Guess we'll experiment and see what happens. Oh, my. oh god! Uh, okay, where can I go to safety? Over there. Right. Go! Oh. Oh, what was the point of that? I thought the whole thing would come down. Oh, I think I made this pirate. Let's take this to Shard drop, okay. Well, I had a point. It's not what I thought was going to happen. Good to go, BD. Let's try that again. Nice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, no, don't you dare! What this? Some of these rock columns are loose. Basalt pillars. Huge pillars of brittle, heavy rock populate the basalt forest. Seismic activity deep beneath the planet's crust unroots these stone trees, forcing the structures to erupt in their fully grown form. While the stone is no longer growing, its porous surface provides a scaffolding for rudimentary organic life forms to take root. Scholars refer to these structures as stone sentinels. Slice the sparkly bushes. Yeah, yeah, uh, we figured that out uh, before. Thank you, I didn't see these. <laughs> Dathomirian red. Oh, can't go that way. It's a wall run for what? Huh. That seems like a useless wall run. Unless I can wall run. Oh, I see. All right, let's do it then. Oh, oh, okay. Take that doll. Try it again. What do you think this array is, buddy? Centauri Kree said it held the key to Tantalor. Z seems to think so, too. Only one way to find out. They saw us. Let's move. This key doesn't seem all that important if they can just fly over to the other side. <laughs> I mean, I guess I can't, but it's kind of weird. Nice looking. Anything down there? Is that death? You think? Yeah, it's probably death. All right. Let us meditate. The basalt rift. One skill point, meh. That's fine. Raider 
raiders don't like the imps any more than we do. Oh, look at this cheater with his shield. I can't get a scan on this. No? Really? Alright, no scan. Oh! Wait, what? We found something. What'd you find? There it is. They must have shot this drop pot all the way from the Lucre Hulk. Turf Wars, a drop pod from a Lucra Hulk class battleship used to transport battle droids and other separatist forces to the field during the Clone Wars. Destination coordinates typically ensure safe landings, but this pod was overridden and fired in the general area of the Basalt Rift. Oh. Well, now he wants to scan it. Shield Trooper parrying their baton attacks will leave them vulnerable. Their shields can be dragged away using force pull. Shield Troopers are deployed wherever the Empire needs to put down insurrections. They are armed with batons and heavy shields, and there are few insurgents who can penetrate their defenses or stand against their brutal strikes. Right, that, that looks bad. That's the way it came in. Oh, maybe to get back up. Oh. Huh. Oh, I see now. Let's get a drop on these bucket heads. Seem to. Oh wow! Oh, that was pretty sweet. All right, dual bladed saber. I would say is the best option against the shield guys. Although I haven't tried the the wield. Generations of Raka raised their young here. Then the Empire tore through, shot and trampled anything that got in their way. Same story, different planet. Raka are aggressive, belligerent creatures, never more so than when defending their nests. This forest variant incubates their eggs for a dozen Kobo moon cycles, and each member defends the clutch as if it was their own. This generation of eggs, however, did not survive the planet's harsh realities. Okay, it didn't work there. Oh, Don't get okay. back up. Don't get back up. <laughs> well, if I had to die, that's a pretty good way. All right. Yeah. 
Oh, jeez. Yeah, okay. I think it only works after they do a strike. Yeah, it's not working. There we go. Okay, I gotta, like, time it right after they do a strike attempt. That makes sense. Okay, yeah. That's when he can do it. Ooh, nice. goes down what's that yeah whatever <laughs> must have been there before I don't remember oh wait no I haven't been there before oh okay I know where I am so I actually want to go that way Oh crap! <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, it like tells you to go to its butt. Like how? It doesn't give you any opportunities. Hey BD. Ah. Alright, it needs to just stop locking on. But, uh, if I don't lock on, it does some really goofy stuff. God, he, well, he's so slow! I thought you were a Jedi! You are the slowest Jedi in history! Just force push him already! Oh my god, Cal, you suck. You are awful. Yeah, I'm, I'm done trying to push. Push does not work. Let's go, BD1. Isn't Yoda slower? Yoda's fast, man. What are you talking about? He just acts slow. Dude is like a pinball. Look at that. Biomas revenge. Biomas have notoriously bad temper, often trampling, crushing, or pulverizing those caught in their rampage. Even trained Imperial soldiers stand little chance against the Bioma defending its den. Okay, so I could pull that over, but what's going on in the den? It's a shiny. Hunter pants. Eh, not what I got. Ooh, that looks 
that's dangerous. Is there another option? Uh, no. All right. Oh, that one moves. All right, go. Oh, wait, not that way. Okay. Wait, hold on. Where am I supposed to be going? I don't see it. Maybe... Oh, wall run. I see it now. Careful, careful. Even before she was damaged, there's no way Z could have made this journey. So of course, back in Kree's day, there was no empire to contend with. But I would give to see a glimpse of that galaxy. Bogglings! Oh, here we go. Felucian Yellow, new seed. Hello. Uh, easy, easy. I'm not looking for trouble. Don't worry. I'm a friend. Ah, oh, Mother of Moons, that's a relief. I'm useless in a fight. Came to see that incredible High Republic structure. Didn't expect to have to fight off beasts with my field journal. Sorry, rambling. Bad habit. D I'm Toa, by the way. I'm Cal. This is BD-1. Listen. The Empire is not going to be happy to find you out here. Why don't you head back to the Reach? I think I will take you up on that. Explore the High Republic Chamber in the forest. You get a good look at that structure? Only enough to see there's no way I'm getting inside. But we're lucky. It looks intact. If I'm right, it's been out here for centuries. Maybe you'd have better luck than I did. It's right up ahead. Thanks for the tip. What's the best place to get a drink in the Reach? I hear Pyloon Saloon is the spot to beat. I was afraid you'd say that. One day, someone will open up another cantina. Doesn't like Pyloons. Pet the bog. It's all right. No, oh, we got BD. BD. Whatever it is, it's very precise. Baby, what are you finding? Oh. Oh my god, what is it? Oh, it's the bog one? No? What in the world? Oh my god, BD, what is it? Maybe it's over here. Like, maybe he's catching something out of the corner of his eye. No? Nope. I was trying to do it quick. Nice. You get it? I got it. Good job. Risk and research. There's enough rations and supplies here to sustain a rigorous multi day journey. Various scientific instruments and cartography tools were also laboriously packed for the trip. Okay. Let's go. Oh, that worked. Oh, it's a shortcut. Oh, back there. Uh, let's go ahead and save. This is a good place to call it a night. Skill points available too. We'll worry about those later. I right, so I believe that saved it for us, and there's no uh, manual Ready save in go. this game, which concerns me. <laughs> I always get worried when games don't have a manual save. Things can go very wrong. But anyways, that's going to do it for tonight. Uh, made some pretty good progress. We're still on this first planet. Uh, Kobo, we're apparently at 20.1%, so we're making some progress. What's that? Force tear is what those are called. Okay, what's that? 
a rumor. Oh. No, back at... Huh. Alright, well, we might have to check that out. Wait. No, that's... Oh, I know where that is. Okay, so we'll have to check that out. Uh, and that's another rumor? Rumor over there. There's another rumor. Cool. Alright, well, we got stuff to check out when we return. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna do it for tonight. Tomorrow night is GTA Online. We'll be back here on Star Wars on Monday. Thank you all for coming. Hope you had fun. And I will see you all next time.